okay, well, you know, you shouldn't walk in. You can stand at the door. All right, well, look. we heard about the mean things you said. Here, about I'm on my way. I'm on really, my way. Are you really going to mouth right off there. for me? Are you seriously going to mouth off for me, you motherfucker? Like, seriously, oh. I'm saying I'm doing my best here. God. I, me, me too. Oh, I'm not again. Oh, no. We're I'm, 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 on, my, I'm on my way there. I'm just obligated to say we're not responsible for any damage to a third party uh, representative that may no longer represent our delivery service. I'm right here. Oh, I'm wait a minute. I'm out of Are here. Are you crashing? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm done. No, all that noise was him just, uh, he was like coughing, having a sneeze fit. Yeah, I think he broke a bunch of stuff. We've dealt with this before with him. Just listen. Uh, we are no longer in, responsible in my for that independent contractor. There's no, there's no one in my apartment, sir. Damn, here we go. <sighs> what are you talking about? We're on the air? This is Ron? Absolutely. Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Who so call me? No, oh, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host, Macron. 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 Hooray! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check, check, one, two, and all that stuff. Can you all hear me out there? Hopefully you can. I've been move moving my stuff around again. Sorry about the uh, fact that I scheduled this live stream for the wrong time. It's because what happens is YouTube switches me over to Canada time automatically and doesn't tell me about it anymore, so... I put in the time that was going to be right last week, and then it changed. And But don't worry, it's uh, Mondays with Macron is always at the same time. You guys will figure it out. Hi, everyone in Discord. It's the 4th of December, 23. Hello. Hey, DS. What day is it on the metric calendar? Did we decide? Is it December? Oh, Did we decide? It December or something. Let's just call it Christmas Part 2. Christmas part two, yeah. It's the 19th of Christmas part two. What's going on over there, DS? Nothing not much. Good. Good. So we got, um... Same old Monday. Dale just told me he's out. He's got some uh, stuff to go deal with. Uh, let's have a look at the voicemails. Not even many voicemails this week. <laughs> Terrible. Ray said, Ray said he's trying to bone the missus. He'll be back in a second. Well, it usually takes him a few seconds, so we'll right, <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait one for him. Push, one push Ray. One push Ray. <laughs> one pump Ray. Yeah. Holy shit, when did all these voicemails come in? So, like... These voicemails have been coming in all day, apparently. I'm not sure if I trust this. Who's this? Is it going to work? Hi, guys. Dale here with the manhole. It's Dale, everyone. Formerly Trump War Room. Formerly Trump War Room. Okay, first off, I did some Ronisms at the Florida meet and greet, and somebody was kind enough to send me a top ten list. So, number one, Ron Blackman accidentally climbed Mount Everest while sleepwalking. <laughs> number two, Ron Blackman was once pulled over for speeding. He let the officer off with a warning. Number three, when Will Smith sees Ron Blackman, he slaps himself. <laughs> Ron Blackman was in the all, all the Star Wars movies because he was the Force. Mm -hmm. When the Hulk gets angry, he turns into Ron Blackman. <laughs> Number six, Ron Blackman knows Victoria's secrets. Mm -hmm. Number seven, when the Mars rover first landed, Ron Blackman showed it where to park. Number eight, Ron Blackman wakes his own alarm clock. Yep. Number nine, he doesn't turn on the shire. He stares at it till it cries. Mm -hmm. And finally, number 10, 50 Cent used to be known as a dollar till he met Ron Blackman. Hoo -hoo. So everyone go to macronshow.com forward slash donate. Uh, also go to macronshow.com forward slash discord. Join us in there. It's free. Have some fun. Be somebody. Toodles.
Toodles, Dale. Thanks for that update. Yeah, he did a bunch of those at the yeah. meetup. It was pretty good. Ugh. Somebody's got a crush on you. Someone's got a crush on me. Who is it? Dale. I think Sounds he, like Dale. I think he, he said a lot of these at the meetup. It was, um, I liked it. I think we, I think we should get more of them. Uh, you did. Yeah, no, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Uh, I hate that they've made me download the new Outlook for Windows. I hate it. Hi, guys. Dale here with the manhole for the Trump War Room. Didn't we already have Dale? I to do a little follow-up today. I'm okay. sending love out to Tommy Wright. Uh, he lost his dog. Oh. Uh, so sad. Tommy, We, I love you. We all love you. Everybody reach out and show Tommy some love. Yep. Uh, I'm sure it's it's hard, and uh, we, we wish the best for you. Uh, I may not join the show today. I'm dealing with a little issue. Uh, if anybody knows of anyone that's having suicidal thoughts, please have them dial 988. That's the new national number to reach the uh, suicide prevention hotline. And uh, wait a minute, what what's this? <laughs> Oh. Go fuck yourself, you fucking useless fucking, <laughs> fucking hillbilly. Where's my taser? <laughs> Tommy, pull him out. Looks Toodles. like looks like Jeff got in that. Oh, I'm sorry you're having to deal with that, Dale. Good advice there. If you know anyone that's going through some shit, uh, reach out to them. That's all we're gonna say. Who's this? Who's this? What's going on? <gasps> you know who this is. Oh, yeah. Tommy Wright. Mm. Um, just wanted to take a quick time out to let everyone know I appreciate the kind words of, uh, of my of my dog. And uh won't too much get into it on the voicemails. Um, but I, I really do appreciate the, the kind words from everybody that uh, that I spoke of on Discord about uh, about my baby. So uh, thank you, uh, Jeff. I'm gonna make a separate voicemail for you, motherfucker. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Thanks, Tommy. We appreciate you. That really sucks. No, no other words to say. Really, it just sucks. Who's this? Hey, Jeff. Here we go. You know who this is. It's Tommy Wright. Hey, motherfucker. That... What? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Delta Airlines Flight 2998, on for Atlanta, Georgia, with continued oh. service to Dallas, Fort Worth. Oh, damn, I forgot I can't be on the phone when they're doing the announcement. ...and be stood securely, either in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. All right, motherfucker. As soon as he printed these announcements, I'm going to call your punk ass back. <laughs> should now be turned off and... Tommy's on the move, everyone. Tommy's on the move. That means someone's going to get it. Oh, who's it going to be? Hey, Jeff. Oh. You know who this is. It's Tommy Wright. <laughs> Guess what, motherfucker? Today is payday, and Tommy Wright is in a real bad mood. Oh. I'm coming to see you, Jeff. Guess what? You got till 10 p.m. tonight to cough up my money. You can either send it PayPal or Cash App. You know what I'm saying, Jeff? I'm going to stop by Kentucky. And uh, pay Shannon a visit, get something to eat, take a shower, that sort of thing. And then I'm getting on my connected flight to come uh, rearrange the wheels on your wheelchair, motherfucker. Ooh. You know what it is, Jeff. I'm not playing. I'm in a real bad mood, and I'm coming to see you. Get ready. Jeff, I mean, I assume he means in Minecraft. In Minecraft, right, Tommy? That's what you meant. You're going to disable him in Minecraft. Yeah. Who this? Hey, Ron. It's uh, me, Randy Berman, again. Yeah, here we go. So, I've made peace with the fact that you guys weren't impressed with my Jeff uh, information that I leaked. <laughs> well, that's okay, because I know you guys have already found out everything awful about him, so there's no way I can top that. So, I have mad respect for you guys. That's good to keep that piece of shit on his toes. So I've decided I'll not waste my time because you guys are doing a better job. So now I want to invite you and Chumley to the League of Bearded Men because I see you're distinguished gentlemen with beards like me. So, uh, yeah, think about it. Only cool guys with beards 
can be a part of this club. So some of the guys mm. on your crew are cool guys too, but they got to grow a beard if they want to join. All right, so peace out, everybody. See you around. I'm interested in this. Chumley, would you like to join the League of Bearded Gentlemen? Yeah, sure. Do I get a Hummer or something? A uh, salad? Chum from a salad? What? Chumley and I say yes. We're definitely interested. Send more information, please, about the League of Bearded Gentlemen. I might as well get my camera on, huh? Do you have it enabled and I'll just turn it on? I should do, yeah. Turn it on. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'll, I'll flip it on. I'll, I'll, Look, I'll do before it. You... Hold on. All right, let's play the last voicemail. Who's this? Look, before you start the calls, I want to say something. Let Ragman, me ask you something, here please. he goes. Uh, fucking right. Ragman. Yeah. Have you ever been assaulted? No, neither have I. Until today, on your show. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Here's me, getting ready to slide my donation tip in. Next thing you know, I feel hands on me. Someone's touched me. Touched my front. Front bottom. I can't believe it. I've gone all cold. I look around. He's standing there, isn't he? That old man with the guilty look on his face. I was shocked. I didn't know what to say. I had to sit down. I was that perturbed. Then his lady friend, the other one, who was giving us all lessons on how to stab package handlers, she starts and all. Starts looking at me, all funny, suggestive. Now, I don't know if they wanted me for a tooth up or something. I don't know how they work it. But I'll tell you what, scared me. I was shaking like a leaf. So, without thinking, I lit up a cigarette to calm my nerves. I was trembling. I was very emotional. And that's when all the rest of it happened. It was very regrettable. Now, I don't want to kick up a fuss. Right? Press charges. Contact the Macron Embassy. I'd rather not pursue those channels. It's not my style. I wouldn't want to lose the man his job. Man's got to eat. And I'm sure he's not representative of all you people. But I would appreciate it if you'd have a word with him for me. Let him know he's been rumbled. It's the one with the Rydell moving at. <laughs> that was a brilliant... You people. That was an amazing Ben Kingsley impression for anybody that's not seen the movie Sexy Beast. I suggest you go watch it. That was really good, Ragman. Really good. You definitely had the script in front of you, though. I'm telling you now. All right, Chumley, I'm not seeing you on the TV. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. I put, in, I put in the new address, so I think it should just work. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I just got to go enable it. Check out, uh, see what you think of those vid those uh, audio I sent I just, I'm curious if what we get if we try them. Can I make an I'm announcement? Oh, uh, no. Too. She wants to make an announcement. What is it? Oh, uh, there she is. I think you know what it is. I thought it was our week off. Ah, ah, here this we go. Last, ah. This is the last free Mondays with Macron show. Thank you so much for your support <laughs> over the years. <laughs> we so appreciate it. And we'll probably be back with a cartoon or something in a couple of years. But until then, we wish you all the best. Thank you for Bye, your everyone. Support. Bye, everyone. It's been a good run. Uh, Bye. Have a great night. Bye. All right. What's the real announcement? Quick before someone, someone gets upset. Tomorrow is a free supporter appreciate or sorry i'm sorry listener appreciation show on discord in the conference room if you're not already in discord get in there it costs you nothing we have the most amazing show plan that's going to be next level the stuff we can't do on youtube and um did I just you hope say that it was free you know what's better than free did you say free Harry, why are you, I said you're free. making Harry cry when you say it's free. free. Harry, Harry's no, crying. What, what's better than free? Uh, nothing. Tell me one. Nothing. Yeah, well, nothing. As my dad says, if they pay you, that's one better. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> He's right there. He's nothing. right there. He's right. <laughs> really nothing. <clears throat> so please get into the Discord, but please do it before the show because So just to confirm, it's a free supporters slash free listeners appreciation show. Listener it's, appreciation show it's of only, epic proportions. It's only $10 and then it's free. So you can... No, no, no it's free. It's zero. Zero dollars. And it'll be happening dollars. in Discord. Yeah, but do it like sooner. No, don't do it when the show starts and then yeah, don't, when the show's don't. on, I get messages. I can't. Can I, how does this work? It's like it's not going to work for you if you come Oh, my God, Harry, shows. really? Your dog just walked in with drool all over him and started wiping it on me. You dick. You've been a real dick tonight. It's, it's a free show. All we ask is you sign up for Discord. And if you could leave a message with your address, we'll just send Ronnie over later to just pay you. It's an innocent visit. He just wants to introduce himself yeah. to you and welcome you to the show. He's not 
going to ask for money or anything. That's he's why just he's not say, on the show right now. He's out visiting no, some people. He just, he just wants you to feel welcome. He's just going to yeah. come by and make your life better, okay? Uh, but seriously, it's going to be around the same time as usual. It's going to be at macronshow.com forward slash discord. It's completely free. Don't start messaging us 10 minutes after the show started being like, I don't know how to do it because you probably won't get a response. Get in there now. Before we start the now. show, and make sure you can work Discord yeah, and everything. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you to fuck off. DS will just exactly, tell you to fuck exactly. off. Um, and when you're on the show, on the Discord shows, uh, Ron doesn't use his fake English accent, so it's so much easier to understand him when he uses his real voice. So it's it's a it's a good show. I'm gonna use my real accent on the show. Yeah, just bring your passport and your credit card. But yeah, it's at macronshow.com forward slash discord. It's completely free, but get your ass in there before the show starts, please, because otherwise we'll all get really, really pissy with you. Really yeah. pissy. And if, you're, and if you're not in the discord anyway, what is wrong? It's free. It's like community. It's it, it's really it's a really good place to be really cool people. Yep. And then um, before we get on with the show, I just have to do one quick shout out to my dear friend, Tommy, to tell him how sorry I am. He he um, lost his dog today and, and I, I've been private messaging him, but I just want him to know how much I'm thinking of him and how sad that is and how much we care about him and how lucky that dog was to have him. And that's it. Oh, Bye. I think we all agree with that sentiment. Um, I just got a tip from Cardinal O'Flanagan. He left 20 British schmeckles and says he's has a late voicemail he'd like me to play. Since you paid 20 schmeckles for me to play this, I'd better do it, really, hadn't I? Uh, what's up, Cardinal? Oh, hello, everyone. Happy Monday to all, and happy travels to Mr. Macron. I do have one message, still from the Holy Father. It's oh. come to his attention. A very evil, evil man of the moving business. <laughs> A little man named Jeff, he's been thinking of some naughty things, especially towards Tommy. Ooh, the Holy Father says Jeff is a royal teat, and he's spoken to his very good friends at WD-40, and let's just say, oh, oh Jeff's going to be a squeaky old man stuck in his apartment with no lube, thanks to his words. Good day. Jeff, this is for you. I'm holding it up. This is the birth, uh, the Christmas gift we're sending to Jeff, by the way. Here it is. I've got it in my hand. Jeff. This is coming all the way out to you, bud. Don't worry. It's on me as well. You don't owe me anything. Ugh. Okay. What else we got to get through? Uh, Chumley's not on the TV yet, but he says he has some audio I've got to play. Hold on. What is this? Uh-oh. Copyright. Copyright. Okay, that's just the regular... I can't play too much of the original song on the air because uh, it's going to copyright me. Oh my god. I kind of like the 8-bit one. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Ah, right. You fast forward to about 15 seconds in the other ones. That's like You don't have to play from the beginning. Like it, they, I have them all started about 15, so I'll just take each one, start at 15, and cut it out. You'll get an idea of what's going on. Oh my I god, some... so Down South has just informed me that there is a topless women's lunch lunch going on right now. Mm. Gotta be honest, I need to get a job as a waiter in that place. That looks that looks like a lot of fun they're having right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna retweet that. Uh so for anyone that doesn't know, we do prank calls around here. It gets pretty wild. Ask the children to leave the room. That's what we're doing is prank calls, okay? That's the gist of it. With that in mind, let's get a uh Important note from the safety bancho before we get started. Before we jump in, a note on our content. The Macron Show is created for adult audiences only. We advise listener and reader discretion for graphic depictions of sex, graphic situations, and some downright filthy language. If you or anyone listening are triggered by this, please do not listen to the show. The content on this show is only and only for entertainment purpose and does not express the views of the show host, co-host and management of the Macron show. All calls and information obtained herein are made for parody purposes and are not intended to be used for anything but comic purposes. You got that right, right? No, you got that right, right. It's comedy. It's just comedy that we're doing, usually. 
Dale from Zoom Security did a super chat. He said that's his casino winnings that he's leaving me. Okay, that's perfect. Thanks for that, Dale. Please do go to macronshow.com forward slash tip and give generously throughout the show. It's all very much appreciated. Can you, uh, can you play the new uh, banjo voicemail? The new banjo voicemail. Oh. That's funny, dude. I need to set that up as the greeting when you call in. This one, you mean? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you are trying to reach is not available. Add the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. <laughs> you may hang up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's check in with some regulars. Let's get the old dialer warmed up. How's everybody doing out there? Thank you for calling our telephone. If you are the moderator, this call has been blocked. <laughs> That's because I was fucking with them the other night. Aww. It's all right. We'll see about that. Thank you for calling. If you are the moderator, you are currently the only person in this conference. Wow, they all know, they all know it's Monday. Uh, the 24th. Thank you for calling. If you are the moderator, there are currently 20 uh, they are. other participants in the conference. The higher power they You are now unmuted. That's the reading. And now... You have been kicked from this conference. Really? <laughs> I didn't even do anything to them. Um, they just know it's me. They know it. Like Monday, they've always got a moderator in there now. Chumley, if you turned your camera on, it didn't work. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. <gasps> He's coming, everyone. He's coming. A lot of moving feet. I'm coming. Deborah, Deborah, Joe Biden. <laughs> she picked up and hung up. Oh dear. Oh man, Ho Ho Seafood is busy. They must be having a busy day. There they are. Oh, well, let's see who needs my help tonight. Let's see. Bugfast, am I supposed to start with hot numbers? Hot numbers. Yep. I phoned them all at about 3 a.m. to prepare them. <laughs> Amazing. Damn, can I even order some whole whole seafood? All right, well, fuck you then. Let's do... Let's do this budget one. So for those that don't know, if you're just joining us this week for the first time, what we do is we do prank telephone calls. However, there is a little bit more to it than that. We like to find people complaining about stuff on the internet, and then we like to call as the person they're complaining about and cause confusion. So that's what's going on in case you don't know. For example, this person says they were told it was they were allowed to park in the budget parking lot but when they came back their truck had been towed and now they have to pay 345 dollars <laughs> that is fucking annoying to be fair but um you shouldn't have trusted them you shouldn't have trusted those people twenty six likes we've got apparently that's that's not enough that makes me angry and sad at the same time Hello? Hello, this is Jason. Hi, Jason. My name is Ronathan. I'm calling from the Corporate Liaison Team at Budget. How are you doing? 
Fine. What's going on? Uh, reason for the call is your file was actually passed to me at corporate by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with an issue. Uh, yeah. Uh, I reached out to your customer support uh, team, and they basically gave me the finger. So here we are. Gosh. So t tell me everything that happened. Uh, well, basically what I've told them. Um, so I rented a truck, or I'm sorry, a moving van, mm -hmm. um, and had it rented for two days. And then um, when I went to go pick it up, so first off, uh, budget in Fort Collins here is literally inside the Walmart is where their office is. And so they're sharing the parking lot with Walmart. Okay. And so when I went to go pick up the truck or the moving van, I parked my truck right next to the moving van and assumed that that was a safe place when I to park the truck or my truck. And when I went in to go rent it, the lady came out and helped me with the two moving dollars that I had along with the blankets. Uh, we put it in the back of the moving van. I asked the lady who worked there if that was a, if this place and my truck is literally right next to the moving van, I said, Hey, is this, uh, okay to leave my truck here since mm -hmm. I had it there for two days. Right. She said, yeah, that's fine. Um, so I went ahead and just locked my truck, got a moving van, you know, brought it back two days later and my truck was gone and went inside and I'm like, well, I'm, what's going on? She's like, well, um, yeah, I don't know. You might want to go talk to Walmart. Um, and their, their security team over there went over there and they said, yeah, uh, we towed it. Here's the towing company and it's 300 and what, $45, whatever it is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, to get it back. And so I was basically just stranded there. So I wasn't able to get the truck until that afternoon because it's by appointment only. So kind of got royally screwed over in a lot of different ways. Um, with number one, just being told that it's okay to park there. I don't know why, um, I would be told that in the first place and then Walmart. So when I called, um, basically your support team said, well, um, you know, that's none of our, that's nothing we can reimburse. That's nothing we can do. And I said, well, you guys literally told me that I could park there. Um, she said, well, we can't pay you back because it is, um, you know, it's not our property. Like you, like if you would have left the moving van there or if something happened in the moving van, we can't, like reimburse personal possessions yeah, or anything that happens. And I'm like, well, you guys literally, <laughs> you literally just told me that it's okay to park there. It would have been one thing if budget actually, or their staff would have said, Hey, no, you're not able to park there. You're going to get towed or a ticket or whatever, go park somewhere else. And here's a couple options for you, but there's literally nowhere. Mm. They, they didn't say that, which means that, budget doesn't have an agreement or anything with Walmart at that location to say, Hey, here's a safe p place to park, or here's a piece of paper that we printed out that has budget on it with some dates or whatever that's safe, you know, so the Walmart team or the towing company can look at the dash and say, Oh, Hey, this is a budget vehicle or rental. Let's not tow them, even though it's in the Walmart stinking parking lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. There's just, <sighs> just complete failure on every different side it feels like and i got screwed yeah i understand so I it the is uh 300 and some no it, it, out, so it, here it, we go. it is a complete systemic failure here and i assume you failed to read the sign that said at no overnight parking as well that are all over the parking lot well no i did read that yeah oh you did you so just my, left it there anyway yeah i saw well, I, no, I, yes. So yeah, I saw the yeah. signs there, there you go. but there I you automatically go. assumed that this was a separate, that I was exempt because I was with budget oh, and parking in their spot. Oh, so you assumed. Okay, let me just make a note of that here. Um, well, that yeah. and the budget employee said it was fine. So between those two, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, like I said, if the if the employee would have said, "Hey, by the way, no, you can't park here," I'd have been like, "Okay, yeah, obviously, I did see the signs. Yeah, I'm not able mm. to park here and whatever." Then, fine. But uh, when she says that there there's parking there again, I just assume because like the parking area is like an off it's did a side you, um, parking area from Walmart. Did you get a name of the lady that told you you could definitely park there for two days for free? Uh, no, there's only one employee there. 
So whatever my checkout or my right. check-in, so checkout So just to get the story so straight, you, just to get the story straight, you had permission to park from a unknown nameless employee whose name you can't recall. You did notice the sign saying no, oh no, overnight parking, but you assumed that didn't apply to you, and now you're not happy. Is that right? Yep. Okay. What do you think this my answer is going to be here to that? What's that? What do you think my answer is going to be to that? Like, what do you? I have no clue. What you're. What is what it? What is. What is it? Your hope? Yeah. Are you hoping that budget will pay the parking fine for you? Is that what you're? Yes. You're getting at. You are. Okay. Okay. Um, no. Okay. No, no, we won't. We won't be doing that. Obviously, I mean, you can see why, right? I mean, you, you surely you understand. Uh, I guess I don't understand. So, if you, I mean, like, if I if, do, you own do you own your own, own do you own your own property? Do you own like yeah. a house or something? So, if you put a big house, a sign up outside your house saying no overnight parking, and then I rocked up and I parked my truck on your property, and I just said, oh, some lady whose name I don't remember said it was fine, and I know there's a big sign there, but I assumed it didn't apply to me. What would your response be? Like, try and see it from our point of view. What would you say to somebody who was making such a claim? Well, that's a terrible analogy because it's not relevant. Not, to this, not really. To it is completely relevant. It's exactly the same scenario, no, so except this time you're no, the property the idea, owner. Though. It's exactly here's the same the scenario. So if mm. I had a renter in my house, let me give you like the real scenario. So if I had a renter in my house and that renter and, I, and some other person comes and says, and clearly as the owner, I have signs that say don't park here. But then my renter has somebody else come on the property and the renter says, yeah, go ahead and park in this, this driveway. I'm assuming that the renter that's in that parking lot has the authorization to be like, yeah, go ahead and park here. It's fine. Well, but clearly I mean, that renter hmm. budget doesn't have the authorization to do so. Here's, that's why, here's why that's a terrible analogy, because we only rent the property from Walmart, you see. We're not the property owners, so you'd be incorrect in your assumption that we own the property. As you already pointed out to me before I even double-checked it, it, it's Walmart's property, you see. So it was them that you needed to get permission from as the landowner. So that's why that's a terrible analogy. And on top of that, you keep saying that you assumed, you assumed. You know what they say about assumption, don't you? Well, assumption is based on somebody else telling me, and there's one employee no, there, so you guys can check no, your records in no, terms no, no, of the... No, no, that's why are not, you calling me? That's not just what assumption to, is. Just to have an amazing conversation? Well, you had requested that we get in touch with you, remember? So, that's why. You so see? You guys, <laughs> so, you guys literally take no accountability for, for, we don't. for any of the parking that's going on there. We don't literally, no, we actually don't take any responsibility. We don't, we're not the landowner. Do you understand? You told me that when you called. You actually told me that before I had a chance to, to check up on it. You, you told me that it was Walmart's property, and yet, for whatever reason, you, I guess you assumed. I'm not sure you know what the word assume even means, but, the, the, I mean, this is the problem, isn't it? Y you know, there was that day he hung up. What a fucking dickhead. Uh, this fucking did you hear it though oh, i assumed the sign didn't apply to me like okay well look where that fucking got you i'm just gonna let this dog outside give me one moment guys someone talk someone tell a nice little story while i'm gone for one minute book fast for a shade tell them what ray was like in person go yeah tell us what happened between you and ray in the hotel room yay try to ray tried to touch my front bottom he ex he succeeded Oh, I, no. I, I did that. And uh, <laughs> I, I checked He's been the... saying oh, I all day. You do it a lot, oh. to be fair. That's a Belfast saying, am I? Yeah. <laughs> and you were very drunk. You were very, very drunk. Did you have a sore head the next day? He's drinking the last WKD right now. Uh, yeah, oh, so he's I'm a WKD. Oh, my God.
I don't know how you're not uh, sick. Okay, he's going to make him try to touch drink. my front bottom, and I'm going to run away screaming. No, not like last time. <laughs> There's a lot of Irish going on. <laughs> it's a little too much Irish. <laughs> Does it smell like yeah. Irish spring oh, up in that hotel room? Post that picture of the balls. Did it smell like oh, yeah, Irish spring up in that fucking hotel room? Remember those? Remember those? Um, remember those Irish spring commercials and they'd go manly, yes. But I liked it too. Yeah. But I like it too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Her dad manly, yeah. Got to tell me. Oh my god, my dad got Irish spring when we were out there. You know what? They really. Like, I didn't get it because you're know Irish. Really... I just like it. Hazel, you know what you they were saying, Ray? Hazel's on Bluetooth. She sounds like crap. Oh, what? sorry, I am on Bluetooth. Hang on, I'm gonna go off it. Post a picture of the balls. Let me get my balls out. Yeah, rip the balls. I know what you're on about. Post the balls. All right, I'm back. What they were saying in those commercials was manly, yes, but I like Ray too. Hmm. <laughs> uh, ha, ha. We say it smell like Irish spring up in that hotel room Saturday night. Oh, the balls in the floor. So <laughs> I just wonder what you're on about. So are you guys not welcome back at that hotel anymore then? Oh, no. There was a visitor coming at two in the morning for. What's wrong with you people? Chumley's on the TV. <laughs> give a, give everyone a wave, Chumley. You're on TV. They want to know oh, why. Yeah. Why, they got so much, why they got so much lube on the floor. We had to hide it before he came. Well, we had to. Well, and we tried to clean it up, but he still still tripped on it. Yeah. Oh my God. And you... then they wonder why you guys always stay at a different hotel each time. I can't a... remember what happened. I think yeah. we know. I think we know why. I have no memory. I have no memory of what happened. <laughs> That's uh, probably a good uh, thing. But did no you? Bad. Can you show did me you... on the doll where it hurts? Did your ass hurt? That's the only question. Yeah. Show us on the doll where they hurt you. Oh, I said. <laughs> He touched me here, and he he touched my front bottom here as well. Oh my god! Right, I'm gonna like call that. this. I don't like. I don't like. He that. tried. You call. He, he tried anyway. I'm gonna call this guy back. I don't like that. Right after that one, there's a couple of fresh air for you. Okay, I want a word with this guy though. He. Try I to post the thing of the balls if you can, because that was funny. Balls. The, the balls and the falls. Okay, Irish. <laughs> Irish on there. Oh, no, nobody thought, nobody liked the whole music, huh? Sorry, it's not ringing there. Yeah, didn't tell you, yeah, chum, we, no matter what, doing a show. <laughs> Why won't this, hello, sir? What's going on with his phone number now? It's like silent ringing. I think he's probably on the phone to the real budget right now, going a bit crazy. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just leave him to stew on that. Uh, this person visited Dunkin' Donuts to get their 100 bonus points. Oh, didn't I didn't get my 100... Jesus, this guy's actually bitching that he didn't get 100 bonus points for visiting Dunkin' Donuts. Holy shit. Tell me he needs to buy donuts to get points. He wants, he wants his free fucking coffee every week. Is that what it is? You got free coffee? For... Well, you, you, it was so many points, right? And that's probably what he... Gets every day, so we probably that's what I use my points for all the time as well. Okay. There's a lot of Duncan Karens in there tonight, by the way. Duncan Karens, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Duncan Donut complainers about all manner of important things. I got Duncan last night and they fucked my order up. <gasps> what did I they do? I think I just got someone You're else's. one of them. What did they uh, do? Seriously, I, I, think, I think they just delivered me someone else's order, man. I, I, I no joke. What did you I get? Ordered a half, I ordered a half or dozen. Like the delivery driver. I it wasn't the delivery driver, man. He he was very. He's just like I don't know what to tell you, dude. I'm like, here's the best part. So I ordered I ordered a couple milkshakes. So I wanted to freeze them, so I'd have a couple today, and uh, a six a half a dozen, right? Donuts. Shows up here. He's got a handful of straws, dude. Like ten <laughs> straws in his hand. Okay. No drinks. No shakes. I'm like. What are you doing with the straws? I'm like, I where's my shakes? He's like, they didn't give me any shakes, and I'm like, but you got a handful of straws. And he's like, I don't know, that's what they gave me. So I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, that that bag you're holding does not look like a half a dozen donuts because it's usually just a, a box. Comes in, and it's got it's got like fucking bagels in it, fucking uh, <laughs> just uh, I, dude, I, the whole thing was fucked up. I just got a whole refund. I, I, I hate help, and they're like, here's your twenty five dollars back. Have a nice day. Yeah, they they don't give a fuck. 
He didn't tell you to drink six shakes on the way to your house. If you want, uh -huh. if you want, I could call that location that you ordered from Chumley as corporate and yell at them all. Uh, no, because I'd like to get food in the future and not have them think I did it. They'll never know it was you. It'll be my voice. Uh, don't I don't think you understand how it works out here, but I kind of stick out big time. Okay, fair enough. And, well... and, and, you, and, and, and they would kind of, I think, figure it out pretty quick. Well, I'm going to call Jonathan here about his fucking bonus points. Let's make it out into a really big deal. Like, we've got a whole team working on this. Hello? Please leave your message for 859. Damn it, Jonathan. How are we going to get you your bonus points? The whole team's working I'm late tonight. The oh, yeah. Please leave your message. You prick. What a wanker. Please leave. Gets one more try, but I think he's just fuck you burning it straight away. It's ringing now. Please leave your message. Oh, fuck you then. This person says they spent $280 on a cordless vacuum and the battery doesn't last more than 15 minutes. That's what you get for buying a Dyson. Isn't that about maybe, normal for cordless vacuums, like the really high-powered ones? Maybe, the, maybe charge a battery? Those things, yeah. those things only last like 15 minutes anyway. Yeah. Cause like, I got the V8, and the V8 lasts about 15 minutes, but what do you, like, how are you vacuuming for more than 15 minutes with yeah, a, the with a wand? Okay. The, the yard? Well, why would you buy a, <laughs> a fucking cordless vacuum if you're going to be using it for like the whole house? It's yeah, if, if you need, if you, if you've got a big house and you need to do the whole house, they're no good. Yeah. You need so you need a corded one. I mean, I definitely like for me. I don't need anything I, more than that. I love that thing. I know what the issue is. He's not putting premium electricity in it. I'm gonna. His I'm, wife's I'm been using it at forever. night, draining the battery. <laughs> yep. Hello? Hi there, Pat. This is Ronathan calling from the Corporate Liaison Information team over at Dyson. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Great. Thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually passed your information by my social media team. I understand you'd reached out to them with a problem? Well, we just bought a $279 cordless vacuum. Right. Which was on sale for five something, I think, from five something. Sure. And much like all the complaints that I saw on the on before buying it, the battery life sucks. Like I can't even get through the house. Not right. even ten minutes. Well, it should have a fifteen minute battery on there. Well, fifteen minutes. That's it. My my one hundred dollar Eureka lasted the whole house and then some. It's just kind of like that doesn't seem right. I, I, thought well, I thought it was supposed to be forty minutes. Well, that thing probably had about a quarter of the suction power as well. Well, whatever. I can't do my whole house without a recharge. I just don't feel like that's worth the cost of Dyson. And I have a Dyson Animal Electric one that I've used for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And you didn't check the specification before purchasing? Well, no. We, I, no? I knew it. I was trying to talk my wife out. Why should you? I mean, why should you? Why should you have to do anything? A, through a, a main floor of a house. Well, sir, so a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a hallway, and two bathrooms. Uh, if you dead. if you can find a way to create that much suction in a device that small and light with a battery that lasts any longer, please do get in touch. Our our R and D team would love to hear all about it. If you have like a better technology that we're not aware of, well, don't you have batteries that are better than this one uh, to offer? Or no, that's it. I, I'm yeah. I mean, I mean the. <laughs> We we have a whole team of of kind of scientists that are working on this right now, but um, the the problem is that it, Elon Musk is currently buying up all the lithium ion batteries for his new cars, so we we have to get the cheap ones from Korea. So that's why they don't last very long. Can I just check though? Are you using regular or premium electricity? 
I don't know. It's whatever they have in Kensington, Maryland, USA. Yeah, no, I, un- I, I understand that. But um, if you if you put premium in there, it will last an extra 20 minutes. What's premium? So it's like you get the, you've got regular and then you've got premium and then you've got budget. Um, don't go with the budget. Um, your most, probably most houses are on standard, but if you contact your electric company, um, it does cost twice as much, but you can have them send you premium electricity and that will charge the battery faster and make it last longer. I uh, think okay, that's the let problem. Let me that call my electric company and get them to charge me twice for my electricity for the stupid vac. I'm done with you. Goodbye. Excuse me. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I like Go that. ahead. That's, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's what upset him. Like, he didn't question whether premium electricity was real or not. He just didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> what a dipshit, though. I mean, like, I mean, seriously. You, you, vacuum, you can like, microwave right, the battery. You silk hoarders. You don't last as long. Honestly, if this wasn't on YouTube, I'd time to go microwave the fucking battery. 20 minutes on high, that should do it. Make sure you stand real close. Yeah. Unbelievable. When I call everyone back, I'm just getting silent ringing now. Do I need to change my thing on here again? Hold on. Let me change a quick setting here that might fix that. Let's try this one. <laughs> Come on. I see some ringing. There it is. That's better. I can hear it ring now. Reach two oh two. All right, what a clown. Let's see this one. Hazel found this lady uses the n word in her complaint. How can I read that out without getting cancelled? What, yeah, must be. Ah, huh? uh, yeah, Scoby, can you read that complaint, please? Probably got lifted to the top of the feed, everyone's feed, because of it, too. The one that Hazel posted, can you read it out, please? Because I'm not allowed. You want me to play dubs for you? Maybe we could dub it out. in the room. Oh, no. I'll read it out. It says, Dunkin' Donuts need to fix their DoorDash menu because every bottled drink shows a picture of orange juice. So no matter what juice I pick, the <laughs> always bring me orange juice. Did that work? Did you hear the beep? The Snickers? <laughs> no, I said the <laughs> Okay. The, the Snickers. No, the <laughs> Goddamn stupid mother. Goddamn. Shit. I hope you know. I hope you know the beef's not working. <laughs> is it really? Is it not? Working? I don't. I never know if it's. No, right. you're just you're just laying all kinds of shit out there, buddy. No. Well, that's. So fine. we'll know when the stream gets shut off in a couple minutes. We'll know it's working. <clears throat> Damn it! They're com they're coming to cancel me again. Can you hear your dog, Hazel? Somebody wants your attention. Oh, he's been a dick tonight. I don't know what's up with him. He's just been out, so I don't know what's up with him. Maybe it's time for his daily thrashing. He smells the like heat. Where's my beating belt? I think he's just confused because he's back upstairs in the house now. He's walking up and down going, Oh no! no. Come on, Monica. Harry, what's the matter? Hmm? Why are you looking so sad? It's uh, not so bad. 
It's a nice place. Ah, shut up ah, your face. Up face. <laughs> Uno, two, three, quattro. What's the matter, you? That's actually why I sing at him usually when he's making a noise. <laughs> Harry, it's okay, bud. I know it's all confusing. Uh, <laughs> it's, oh, my God, he's gone around here. Can You You can just see his tail on camera. You can just see his tail wagging up on camera. Who's a good boy? Everything's fine. I'm trying to do a show here, bud. So unless it's urgent... Unless there's a fire, I don't want to know, okay? Urgent, urgent, urgent. Little, little Timmy's stuck down a well. He's trying to tell you, he's trying to tell you somebody's <laughs> coming through the house right now for you. Uh, he's telling you he's about to piss all over the floor once they're outside. <clears throat> no, he he's went out. Tell you he's about to piss on your feet. Karma says it doesn't show the dog on YouTube, but it looks like I'm jacking off. Well, I'm do I was doing that anyway. Uh, this person wants. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts to tell him where he can send his card detailing bill after the covers on his coffee cup didn't okay. work. We'd love uh, to. Yeah, I'll tell you where to send that bill, don't worry. Uh, macronshow.com forward slash tip, by the way, guys. Please please show some love tonight. God knows we need all the help we can get. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. Slide that tip in. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. See if you don't if you guys all don't tip people stop picking up that's how it works. You have to smash that like button too. Also it has been proven scientifically that people that leave it <laughs> The fuck was that? Your call has been forwarded. Ew. Ew. What the actual fuck was all that noise? It has been proven that people that leave a tip have a better sex life and live longer. Like, I don't want to be getting into any fake science or anything, but we've done some studies. You'll protect you from the vaccination as well. Yeah, you don't need to get vaccinated ever if you tip. It's good medical advice right there. It's good birth control, too. It's automatic. Automatic. Hello? Baskin Robin? No, Ben and Jerry's. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm calling from... What kind of spam is... I'm calling from the Dunkin' Donuts corporate office. May I speak to Lars, please? Uh, not... He doesn't not, live here. He doesn't live here. Oh, okay. He'd asked us to reach out about a complaint regarding uh, an incident in his vehicle recently, that's all. Um, should I still be able to reach uh, him on the uh, 842 number, the one that ends in 842? Uh, that, yeah, try that. Okay, and don't call me a spammer again or I'll pop you in the fucking jaw, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, but, you know... Bye. <laughs> 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 Why does he answer the phone? What did he say, Baskin Ooh. Robbins? Oh, what a fucking moron. Are you using Baskin Robbins number, are you? No, I'm using Dunkin' Donuts. This one there's there's obviously some kind of fucking moron over there. They're, well, they, they're the same company. Ah, uh, wouldn't surprise me. Well, they're always in the same store anyway. All right, so this guy wants to be a fucking prick. So that's obviously his parents' phone number. So I'm going to call him from his parents' number. <laughs> and just pretend it was a About mistake. His incident. Yeah. If he shits in the car, he can clean it up himself. Carl Lestra. Hello? Hi, Lars. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at Dunkin' Donuts. How are you doing? I'm um, okay. All right. Uh, reason for the call is um, I see that you reached out about an issue where I believe you had some coffee spilled in your vehicle. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Tell me what happened. <laughs> this is wild that I'm getting this phone call right now. Um, oh, okay. Well, to be totally honest, I don't know when it was, within the last like six to eight months, Dunkin' Donuts as a company made a, seemingly made a decision to change, I don't know, vendors or 
some process in making the, I don't know if it's a, maybe it's a, a relationship that you have with somebody else who makes them for you, but the covers, the lids that go on coffee cups are almost universally bad. And meaning that like more than nine times out of 10, if I get a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, it doesn't matter the size, it drips on just about anything. And that's what I was complaining about. Oh, gosh. And you said there'd been a spillage in your vehicle. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Just to check, how many cups of coffee were spilled in the vehicle? No, like, it, it didn't come off. Like, you know, it just, there's, like, coffee on, uh, like, on the center console of my truck. But it's, the, like, the same thing has happened on clothes and other, you know, items in the last, you know, however many months in the last year. Okay, and what kind of vehicle do you drive? Uh, Ford F-150. Ford F-150, okay. All right, let me take a look here. So, yeah, because the tweet that you'd sent over implied that you had a car detailing bill to send, but you're saying it was just a few drips on the uh, center console. Oh, yeah. No, I was definitely over-exaggerating for the sake of trying to let somebody know, and apparently it worked. Yes. No, I mean, the social media team picked up on this. We obviously wanted to get ahead of this in case there was a, any, any injury had been caused or if there'd been any serious damage to your vehicle. We obviously, we obviously wouldn't want that. Um, so just to confirm... No, I, I, honestly, I, I, I want to be totally clear. I, I have no, like, I have no qualms. Well, not qualms. Like, I, I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't, I'm not asking for anything other than to examine the... Uh, no, I, I understand uh, why you're saying you know, we've talked to whoever you have to talk to to make sure or to try to ensure that it stops because yeah. I, and, I'm, and I'm not kidding. I, I have asked this question of multiple um, Dunkin Donuts employees via the drive through mm -hmm. and it, it's they're like, yep, we know that, and, but, you know, like uh, the, the casual hourly employee at Dunkin Donuts is I would not imagine typically would have any or be able to have any immediate or direct impact on changing anything like that. So that's why I just well, what, what we'd put like, it out there into the world. What we'd like to do, we, we did several months ago, we did switch to a different provider for our coffee lids. It's one that's more environmentally friendly. It has less plastic and it's made of recycled material. Um, it does need to be... So there are two clips on the cup that need to be clipped on securely. And I understand that for some people that can be a challenge. So what we're going to do, no, 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 we no, have this, your, this uh, not, I, I'm, we have, it's not well, the clips. it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. We have your address here and I'm going to send you your very own Dunkin' Donuts sippy cup. So it's the one, it's got like two handles on either side and it's got a special spout to avoid spillages. And if you take that with you when you go to get your coffee, they will also give you 15 cents off the coffee, too. Okay. Okay, and it's going to be a little sippy cup. We're going to put your name on it. Okay. And then we're going to get you some tissues to wipe up your tears and any coffee that you still manage to spill, okay? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Would that be all right for you? That would be great. If it's still a problem after that, I'd recommend looking into maybe getting a personal carer or a handler that can help you. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to send that right out to you. We're also going to send you a $5 gift certificate. Um, sure. It's going to be for Starbucks, because quite honestly, we'd all prefer if you just get Starbucks from now on. Fantastic. And, all right. And, uh, oh, do me, a, do me one favor as well. Of course. Tell your dad not to call me a spammer again, or I'll pop him in the fucking jaw. Okay? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> bye 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 da <laughs> what a fucking dickhead <laughs> i'm pretty sure he just realized how stupid he sounds He's an idiot oh my god harry what's wrong with you dog what is all that squeaking it's the dog he's gone into a deep depression over something i don't know what it is he misses you he's, he's he must have a message from god he's drooling everywhere for number one He's drooling, and he's walking around the house just going, oh, oh, no. Maybe there's a dog in heat outside or something, and he's getting all worked up. I don't know. I don't know what's up with him. I think he's just confused by I life. I reckon he can hear Hazel's voice. Possibly. Can you hear Hazel? Can you Does hear he have anxiety or uh, separation anxiety, Hazel, when you're...
No, he's been all right. Had to work the room. He barks at me when I go in the shower. He did, he just tired of and shit. You sick yeah, of my yeah. shit, Harry? You sick of my? Sh you can just hear you can just see his tail wiggling around like on the green screen. I know he's sitting I feel down. Bad for him. Like what's what he want? This poor guy. Okay, Harry. I don't know what he wants. He's been out. He's had his dinner. He's got no problems in life. Yeah, He's been. He's already been. The dog. The dog walker lady came. He's now wiping drool all over my leg. That's lovely. The only you have a dog time walker, he normally smells like that's that is when oh, yeah. there's like a lot of stinky smelling gas in the house. Oh, I have been farting in here continuously just to there you go. keep the temperature up. Hungry. Got a whole greenhouse effect going on. You want some beef? Keep smelling it. He's all right if I keep my hand on him. I'm going to have to do the show one-handed for a minute, which is fine because I'm used to that. This person's on hold to speak to Dyson. Oh, I know why he's crying. He's crying because everybody hasn't gone to macronshow.com forward slash tip this week. Ah, oh, that's what it is. That's it. You Are you pissed off with all these cheapskates, <laughs> Harry? That's what it is. You all need to go to macronshow.com forward slash tip and leave a message for Harry, please. <clears throat> Okay, he's leaving the room now. I assume that means he's had enough pets. And if you want to continue to campaign for Trunk, it's going to be a hundred bucks a month. <gasps> this is the guy that comes in here every show and just keeps yelling Trump 2024. It's like, whatever, dude. See ya. <laughs> we don't even ban him because it's funny now. No, right, right. <laughs> In a year's time, we'll file that under messages that didn't age well. I mean, hopefully. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. They're not available because they're on hold to speak to Dyson right now. They need to pick up. Come on, Kim, I want to help you here. They're all saying Harry Your for call president. Has been forwarded. Harry should be president. He'd probably do a better job than your current two candidates. He's not very smart. Well, that's never been a barrier. No. <laughs> to the American presidency, let's be honest. We're sorry. Jesus. He does have his own head of hair, though. The number you have read. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to get a hold of this Kim lady. She's... He's not very honest. He'll act like you didn't feed him when you did, so I trust him mm. i like this mclean uh comment i like it a lot what's that it just sounds like a great call i don't want to say because i then people don't look it up DKC says Harry and Your Hazel. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Harry and Hazel should be president and vice president. What a world it would be if that happened. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Mm -hmm. All right, fuck you. No help for you. You're going to have to stay on hold. What's going on here? KitchenAid. My wall of an exploded wall self-cleaning. Well, that's a lesson to do your own cleaning, isn't it?
Shall I say it's basically like Terminator? So the self-cleaning unit is operated by AI, and when it decides that the unit's just too dirty to carry on living, it just explodes it. Just ends it. It's got a self-destruct mechanism. We have to, we have to retain, we have to um, keep the uh, integrity of our person, or is it our bot, our personal bodily fluid, according to Doctor Strange Love Guy, General. John D. Hi there, McLean. This is Ronathan calling from the Corporate Liaison Information Team at KitchenAid. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. And yourself? I'm great, thanks. The reason for the call, I'm actually a supervisor over here. Your case has just been escalated to me by one of our customer service team. Uh, tell me what's been harp on. Yes. So um, my husband ran the self-cleaning cycle on our oven last mm -hmm. evening. Um, okay. You know, you hit the button that says self-clean. Um, and we come and we hear a noise and we come back up upstairs. We were just sitting in our basement. And um, and he's like, oh, my God, the whole thing has like a big noise. And the whole thing had exploded. And the glass shattered on the inside of it. Thank God, you know, there's extra glass. Um, and so, of course, we couldn't, we were afraid to open the oven until, like, the whole thing kind of finished and calmed down. And it did. Um, and he was able to, like, remove all the glass that was inside the oven. But now I'm terrified of my oven. You're terrified of your oven. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've never seen glass explode inside an oven before. Oh, my Thank gosh. God it didn't happen on Thanksgiving. <laughs> How old is the oven? My house is... So we just moved into the house in August, but my whole house is only 10 years old. So at max, the oven is 10 years old. 10 years? Um, I mean, oh. my, my home is only 10 years old, so the oven could not be more than 10 years old. But I it, can give you the model and serial number, but I don't, you know, like, I don't know if this is the original oven to the home or not. Okay. Um because, yeah, I mean, basically the way the self-cleaning mode works is it heats up the oven to a really high temperature, um, yeah. which literally just uh, vaporizes any any dirt, any grease that may be in there. Um, right. But if there... Yeah, I mean, I've used the self-cleaning cycle before, not yeah. on this oven, but, like, yeah, I, I know how it works. Yeah, so basically, uh, if there's been any kind of problem with the structural integrity of the oven, any damage to the oven any chemicals or cleaning products in there that aren't supposed to be, then simply heating the oven up can cause that to happen. It is safety glass, which is why it only kind of shattered on one part. Um, but yeah, I understand I, that. But like the oven, I mean, there's, there was, we had the whole home inspected before moving in. We moved in in mid August. Like, Oh gosh, I'm telling you, your inspectors like didn't do a very good job then did they? Cause they missed the oven. <laughs> well, no, oh. I mean, I had a full, I had a full and clean inspection. Everything passed inspection. So, Oh, um, so the oven didn't the explode oven. then. I mean, I, I had Thanksgiving. I mean, <laughs> yeah. not like I don't cook in this thing. Is it, um, is it the first so, time you turned on the self cleaning mode since she moved in there? It was the first time I do self cleaning. Right, um, so your inspectors didn't didn't check harsh. that. Did they skip over that? I, I don't yeah, you know what. I, they must have I done. wouldn't accuse them of not using the self-cleaning cycle. I simply do not know the answer to that question. Hmm. Is it in the documentation anywhere that they tested the self-cleaning model? Um, I would have to pull up the full inspection documentation. So I don't, I don't know the answer oh, to it. But regardless... And, and someone um, else should do that for you, shouldn't they, really? I mean... Well, uh, okay. my concern here is that this is like a, you know, it, it, it shouldn't, my oven shouldn't explode when I run a, a, a self-cleaning cycle. <laughs> no, shouldn't but did. So, um, <laughs> shouldn't, the, shouldn't but did. Yeah, um, so. I'd like, needless to say, I, I'd like to have someone from KitchenAid come out and <clears throat> uh, fix it. And then look at the other oven to make sure there's no. There's it's a double wall oven, so oh yeah, make I, sure that there's I, no I issues. can I can definitely send an engineer out to fix it all up for you. That's no problem at all. Have you got the model number of the oven? I do. Yes. Can I give that to you now? Yes, please. Go ahead. Excellent. Okay, one second. Let me just pop it up. Um, the model number is K E B S two zero. 
BFS09BFS00. Let's take a look here. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. That's the 30 inch convection double wall oven. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah, I can send an engineer out to fix it. Um, his rate is going to be at $69 per hour plus parts. Don't know how long it's going to take him. It depends on how much damage has been done and plus whatever the parts will cost. Uh, when's a good day for him to come out there? I'm happy to get this scheduled, but I guess my concern is um, I, my oven shouldn't be exploding. This is a safety and security issue. Oh, because um, I guess like my issue is like my guys won't work for free. Hmm. I mean, I'm sensing I, a, a, a bit of sarcasm on, on the line here. Um, I, I don't expect somebody to work for free, but I also don't expect my oven to explode. And it seems to me that it would be a much more media centric issue if KitchenAid had a house burned down because their self cleaning oven exploded and burned down a $2 million house. Well, yeah, it would make the news until you told them it was up to 10 years old. And then they'd probably be like, ah, oh, yeah, probably should have checked that. You know, probably should have had your safety guys check on that but you didn't but uh if that's the route you want to go down that's absolutely fine that's that's no problem sir i i i'm again i'm i'm a little bit taken aback by this tone here i think we're having a fairly pleasant business discussion Me and too. i'm merely questioning something that's a fairly major security and safety issue in my home hmm. and it seems is to it a major security issue than... is it a major security issue like do you think someone's going to break in through the oven is that a real concern is or this, sir is this call being recorded yes ma'am okay may i ask to be transferred to your supervisor please because i don't really find this to be a productive discussion any longer okay absolutely are you okay to hold the phone for one minute while i see if there's a supervisor available right now Naturally, thank you. Okay, perfect. I'll be with you in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you today? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Doing well, thank you. Am I speaking with somebody at KitchenAid? Yeah, I'm actually the uh, basically the call center here. When uh, they they transferred it over, it sounds like there was some sort of issue because normally I don't get involved. <laughs> that's that's fine. Um, are you aware of the nuances of the issue that we were that I was just discussing with your colleague? I mean, I've got his his notes here, but I'd be more interested in hearing your side of the story before, you know, I, there's always two, three sides of the story. There's, you know, his side, your side, and the two. So why don't you give me your side and see where we're at? Well, Michael, um, I would encourage you to pull the recording of uh, the issue oh, that yeah? uh, just, okay. just transcribed because oh, your, uh, okay. your colleague, your colleague uh, began uh effectively threatening me and and uh questioning oh, oh, oh. um me uh, ma'am ma'am hold on hold on a second ma'am i'm still on the line just so you know so if you're gonna make if, you, if you're gonna if you to if you're gonna out no 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 it's just if you're gonna outright lie now to try and get something for free it's just to let you know that i am listening 
You're welcome to listen. No, sir. nobody. I'm, I'm obvi- more than happy obviously, to nobody listen. threatened That's you great. at all. Okay, nobody no, threatened. You, you questioned my integrity. That's not a threat, though, is it? That's not a threat. That's not a threat. That's not the definition of a threat. Yeah. Obviously, you're a very insecure. You know, uh, you're like laughing and smiling while you're telling me. She, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I seriously object to this lady insinuating that I threatened her. There was absolutely no threat whatsoever. She's just being hysterical and trying to get something for free. So just please bear that in mind, Michael. Thank you. And no problem. I mean, I, I definitely don't want to threat you, ma'am. I'd, I'd like to at least get you squared away. Well, I'm. I don't believe I've ever, in a professional context, been told that I'm being hysterical. Not well, only ma'am, is that a ma'am, ma'am, gendered term, listen, but that it is, is a, very, that is, is, hey, hey, shit, I'm talking, ma'am, so it's very important that you be accurate because that's not true. If you had never been told that before, then you wouldn't be talking to me about it right now, so apparently you have been told that. Otherwise, we this existence and reality we're dealing with right here wouldn't be happening if that did not happen, so I can guarantee you that you're already giving me tall tales. So sure. can we be just, am... can we be a little honest? It's Cause I, I honestly, my time's pretty valuable. I don't get on calls unless I need, you know, I need to. So obviously you, you've got a problem. I can solve your problem. I don't know if you want a refund, if you need a technician or what, I, I don't know, but I, I just want to get this solved so I can close this out and get, get out of here. So what do you, what do you need? I, I don't mean? believe in a professional context that I have ever been spoken to by either party in this manner. And I'd like you to know now that this call is being recorded on my end as well for quality assurance. So that yeah, I but I didn't give you permission to record. This is, a, well. this, this is a two-party state, lady. Do you know what that means? Well, do you know yes, what that I'm means? I'm well aware, sir. Do, do, I'm do you know, do you, you know the fact that you just, to, you just tattletailed on yourself? That I now know that you're committing a, a crime. Well, you your call is also being recorded for safety. But you were informed well. of that. You were informed of that and decided to stay on the call and continue. And I've talking. just informed and I've just informed you that I have and recorded. I, I have told you, you well. I, and I did not give you the permission. I told you no. Shut your goddamn trap, cunt. Why don't you turn the recording off and let's have a real record, uh, a real conversation here about your problem that you're having. I mean, if you're going to sit there and not know how to cook and break your stove, don't come break blaming us for it. It's 10 years old. Do you know what planned obsolescence is? God. You, sir? You, you, we got to make money. Some, uh, yeah, that, that's right. You're, you can call me, sir. Or daddy, whatever you want. What? 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 You're wasting my time. Can I close this? No. Can you I may close not, this, sir? I'd like you to remain on the line. Why? Who the? First of all, you're not the boss of me, lady. So you don't tell me what kind of day to have. Sir, I don't anticipate being the boss of you, nor do I believe that I am. However, I am having a safety issue with my you oven. Sure are. I called Great. the customer support line to get I service. I have explained right. the issue around right. my customer service. The uh-huh. individual with whom I was speaking right. got you said that. quite sarcastic with me, and I asked to speak right. with his supervisor. I you was then transferred you to me you. This already? Uh, how old are you, ma'am? Do you need medication? Because we just went through all this. I don't know if you remember, but we literally just went through all this. You're, no, you're I believe, yourself. sir, that you've you asked, asked for my, my side time. of the story. Sir, I believe so, you have asked ma'am? for my side of the story. And you have I did, but now I, don't, I, 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 I didn't want it anymore. I was kind of tired of hearing you. Like, and, I'd like to just Sir, I believe this, this is your job. I believe you are being paid. I do you don't know my job. Being... How do you know? How do you know what my job is, and how do you know that I'm getting paid? What if I'm not getting paid? What if? What if I? What if you? I literally was given this phone because this guy didn't want to talk to you anymore. I'm not even. A, look, I'll be the supervisor and I'll supervise. Okay, that's the best I can do right now. So, how would you like me to supervise your call? 
Well, sorry, I'd like you to resolve my issue. So, Michael, 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 let me save you some more BS from this woman, okay? What she wants is the oven is potentially up to 10 years old. Um, She moved in. Let me finish, ma'am. If you could shut up, if you could shut up for a minute, shut up while I speak to my supervisor. Do not interrupt me again, or we will mark this as resolved. Now, Michael, she has an oven that's up to 10 years old. Uh, okay. She had a safety inspection done on the house, but she conveniently can't remember if they tested the self-cleaning mode. Now she wants us to fix it for free, and we won't. And that's the stalemate. That's the problem with this lady. And she thinks by exaggerating, by whining, yeah. by threatening us with the media, we'll come fix it for free. Well, we, we'll I'm be happy to fix, for you to fix it for free. I've, I have, sir, I have never asked for you to fix it for free. Okay. I have said it is a... It is a safety and security issue that my, oh my oven God, on its soft fitting cycle Did exploded you, like, and I've merely down? asked what your policy is around that issue. And then when you Our refuse to, to tell me, you I to go to a supervisor who, excuse me, sir, called She's me been, a cunt no, and hysterical. Well, you are, no, you are a hysterical cunt. cunt, to be honest with you. I mean, let's be sir, honest here. I will here. now be calling the police for your harassment. <laughs> <laughs> your full name and employee number. No, not if you're calling the police. Yeah, don't... My phone number is... Fuck you! How about that? I'm calling the police. KitchenAid wouldn't give me something for free, so I'm calling the police. I've not asked for anything for free, sir, but I have been told that I do not need to be spoken to like this. And I will ensure okay, so that you, Simon, you and do. you, Michael, no longer are employed by KitchenAid, if in fact you are. Oh, now you're going to get me fired now. Ma'am, when you call the police, ask them if they can do anything about that fucking Halloween mask that you got stuck on your head as well. Imagine going to a fucking Sir, Halloween dressed as Dumbo and not taking your mask off. Well, then do something about it, lady. Yeah. If you think it's over, then do something. Why don't you go snort some of the neighbor's cocaine? Oh, my Sir, God. do you get some sort of sick pleasure out of this? Is there anything productive a you lot. can do on this call? A little, a little you know. bit more than you'll ever know, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we try and help people. We try and reach out, and all we've got is some fucking scheming bitch trying to get a free repair yeah. job. I feel like I just took a like, shit, honestly. and now I'm smelling it. That's she, what she it feels didn't, like. She didn't even buy the oven. It's like came with the house, and it's probably like a decade old, and she just wants another one for free. Yeah. How she do you just think right. you got a 10 year extended warranty on a, on a stove you didn't even buy? Did he like transfer the like, how do you expect to get it fixed? And also you offered her 16 on an hour. That's not even a bad rate. Yeah, right. no, I offered exactly. her a really good rate on the repair as really well. Good. But yeah, and that that's when she became unhappy. As soon as we insinuated yeah. that so she might have to pay. On this line? You've now invited a third person onto the call and not invited no, We did not invite them. We didn't invite her. That's our supervisor. I'm she has the supervisor monitoring the call, madame. Okay. And just so we're clear, this just is so we're clear here. you're just so we're clear. You're supervising this call, and you are. Oh, you're you are just okay bitter because you accident. Okay. Look, look, look! You're just bitter because you accidentally married an aardvark. You sit down over there. Now you're stuck eating ramen for three weeks while you get your freaking stove. I food. just yeah, came I'd like on to the speak call. To the third individual, the yeah. third supervisor here on the call, ma'am. I just Second. came on the call because it's going over the allotted amount of time that they're supposed to speak to people. So I'm a little surprised that your issue hasn't been resolved since you have our two best manager and supervisor customer service people on the phone with you. It makes no sense. She's not, she we won't can. be happy until someone says she can have a free oven. That's all she wants. Then, and then, and then she'll be all over social media with her 3,000 followers or whatever going, oh, that was great. <laughs> He offered you our $69 rate plus parts and labor, which is the best rate that we have. What was wrong with that? She didn't want to pay. She man, didn't want to pay Why anything. Why the man fix it? Yeah. I've you not, I've not denied to pay anything, ma'am. Um, are you aware that your quote-unquote two best have uh, sworn at me and called me names that cannot be repeated in polite He's society? British. Um, I called her a con. He's British. Ma'am, are you aware that this quote-unquote woman has just been on the phone crying and asking for free stuff? I've not, sir. What? I, did, I will not entertain that with a further request, ma'am. Um, yes. What is going on here? Are, uh, quite frankly, I'm not quite sure. I called your line earlier today and was placed on hold for an exorbitant amount of time, and then the call was dropped. And so I, ma'am, ma just for my records, can you tell me, ma'am, can you tell me when an exorbitant amount of time is, just for my records? Yes, 
45 minutes and then another 20 okay. minutes on hold when I was transferred to the safety department. Wow. 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 Ooh. Okay. Continue. And, and then I used the chat service and asked if somebody could be in touch. I immediately received a phone call from the uh, gentleman from the UK here. I began to explain my issue. Oh, now and, she's uh, assuming my, now she's assuming my ethnicity. Well, that's beautiful. He's in our corporate USA like office, ma'am. And his mom's still in our corporate I USA have, office. I'm having trouble hearing you, ma'am. Um, He's in I'm our corporate trouble. USA office. He's not it's from the UK. He's in the I'm United sorry, States. I cannot remember his name. So I'm just having Ron trouble hearing his name. Referring to Ron him as the best I can identify him. Okay. Would you like to give me your name again, sir, so that I can properly identify you? Ronathan. Ronathan? Mm hmm Okay, Ronathan. Um, I was speaking with Ronathan, who I believe identified himself as Simon at the beginning of the call, but that's okay. Again, um, again, um, complete fucking bullshit. Again, I I pulled back the call and I, I... Again, this woman is just a compulsive liar as well as an ugly freak. That's okay. Well, she must be some kind of scam. Uh, she's trying to scam something real. Now she's accusing me of using a false name. When you can I see, would like to hear you what can see from the call log right there. I said, "Hi, this is I Ronathan." I would like to hear what she has to say. What is the name he identified himself as? I, I believe it was Simon. He may have identified really, himself. Really, himself, really, really. No, it was Ronathan. You want to you want to pretend it was you want to pretend it was Simon now. You want to pretend it was Simon now. Do you really think that's name? Jesus Christ. It what was a... Ronathan and Michael who you've been speaking to. Okay. Well, you can just call me fuck off. No one ever you told you they were called Simon, ma'am, so stop lying. Try and stop lying for one minute. Let's hear what else you have to say. While we ignore you. Yeah. Lovely. If Ronathan could please be quiet while I finish my sentence, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't give a fuck what you'd appreciate. Wow. Sir, uh, ma'am, okay. ma I'm going to just yep. stop you right there. I've now been sworn at and been called names that are despicable. Ma'am, he's British. Ma'am, he's and, he is our best customer service rep. He's from Britain. He lives in the service. United States, and that's how they speak. You know that's that. That's how they speak. Well, you yes, get on my nuts. That's how I speak. <laughs> <laughs> in the background. Who's that little asshole? <laughs> that's the dipshit that I broke the oven in the first place. That's the fucking retard that can't even use the self-cleaning on mode on an oven without breaking it. What a dumbass. Okay. It's not. Oh, tell them, honey. Tell them, honey. Get them, honey. Good job wearing the pants wanna, in that man, relationship, would be, dickhead. Would you be more comfortable putting the man on the phone? The lady man? Okay. The air quote, man. This has been an incredibly just illuminating call, and I so appreciate your oh, time good. tonight. I, this is obviously I am not here... KitchenAid with whom I'm speaking. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, I and I hope you. you scam somebody else out of their money. Thank How you, and enjoy your evening. Wow. You. She's a genius. Yeah, we scammed her for a whole bunch of our time. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. We're rich now. Ma'am, go snort some more cocaine from three blocks away. Ma'am? The only thing I got was this <laughs> giant bowl of wine. <laughs> what an absolute fucking cunt. Like, unbelievable. Ma'am? Ma'am? Yes? Can I have a quick word Hello? with Can I have a quick word with your husband, please? This is an unrelated personal matter. No, it is not, and you may not yes, speak it is. with anybody further. Oh, your husband doesn't have permission to use the phone. I don't need to give my husband permission to do anything, sir. You just but said, you just he said he's not allowed. Me again, and continuing to harass me about an issue that I've deemed closed. Oh, I'm not harassing you, and I don't care what you've deemed because you're the least important person on this phone call. I just want to talk to your husband. Okay, go ahead. Feel free to speak your mind. Sir? Yeah. Gatekeeper. Sir, can you hear me? Do you, I are, are you being abused, sir? Do you need us to call anybody? I, actually, I am being abused. You are? Oh, I gosh. Being, Welfare uh, check. We can send someone over. 
We can send someone over there to do a welfare check if that would help. Fantastic. Can you please go over, Greg, can you please go to your headquarters and tell them to talk to a Ronathan and a Michael? And um, because they're harassing us. They are now calling us at our own home and bothering us and bothering us. You so, sound like yeah, you're talking to yourself. You sound, you sound, you're talking to? You sound like you're going to cry. Your voice is breaking up. You've gone all high pitched well, and fine. effeminate. I mean, you know what? In the safety of my own home, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. No, and absolutely. If you, if, if you are, I'm now being harassed if, by if, KitchenAid. If you want to cry I'm into your wife's apron because another man called on the phone who's more masculine than you, then that's fine, sir. We won't judge, okay? Well, you know, I'm really glad that KitchenAid's top supervisor and top manager are giving this kind of customer service where they can call and harass me in my home after we've deemed that you cannot help us resolve a problem. How is it harassment when you're the one not holding up? Yeah, he asked, like the a, he asked us to, to call here. as well. He's the one harassing us on social media. Maybe we should. It's not like him. you're stuck in the room with us. You have every, you have total autonomy of this call, sir, and you're choosing to remain. So, so how long? Not harassment. How long have you and that giant-nosed Karen been married? Just out of interest, sir. <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy fuck! Wow. All right. I'm going to go for a small break to top up my Close root beer. I know, right? What a pair of fucking assholes. She was fine with the service until I said that she would have to pay something, and then that was it. 100%. She was well, fine. Hear, she's like, she's telling me the story, and she's like, then? He was like, she's like all fucking weird about her stories, being all like, uh, and I, don't I, know, I don't even know what tone that was. I guarantee you that. And she was, and do you like how she blamed her husband for breaking the oven too? She was like, my husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was, she was very careful to specify my husband put it on self cleaning last night. I'm like, well, how does she think she's not going to have to get a new oven? Yeah. Like, what oven's got a 10 year warranty on it? Too? What the fuck? And it blew up. I, I would not want to repair an oven that blew up in my house. You I'd can't be like, even repair it. You can't. You'd just, pull, you'd just pull the whole unit out and put a new one in. No one's going to repair that thing. Not not after it's exploded once. I know. Um, but why would you even try? If it's exploded, how much do you not give a fuck? To I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not even an expert, right? But I would guarantee that the husband put some cleaning product in there, right? Something happened. Right? He was like, he put, he, he had water. Yeah. Water That's in there, cool. or like great, he, great cleaner in what, it. I guarantee yeah. you, this story goes right. He was trying to clean the oven, realized he couldn't do it. Then he noticed that it had a self cleaning mode, so he just left all the water and whatever shit he had in the oven, right, and just put it in self cleaning. I bet you know what he did. I bet he put in that self cleaning oven shit and then self cleaned it, and it just. Over oh yeah, that. like the spray down there where it's like the scrubbing bubble type stuff. And yeah, because my yeah. my understanding is all it does is heat the oven up really hot, so it burns away yeah. any crap that's in there. Yeah. But like, yeah. but if you put in that self cleaning oven stuff, you're not supposed to put it in self. Right, dude. They don't go together. Well, you're clearly not supposed to have any li like any product in there when you do it. I don't right. think like that's because it's a KitchenAid. It's ten years old. Technically, it really shouldn't ha happen unless. Something. Yeah, I mean, it's a, that looks like a pretty. If that picture is the one you saw, I mean, it's a solid. Piece yeah, of it, it but, looks modern too for being ten years old. It's fairly modern, but I mean, like if it's ten years old, like you, you, like that's I'll about time. You wouldn't cry. If it explodes. I'm like, all right, yep. That I. At ten over. years, at ten years old, you'd just get a new oven, wouldn't you? Like, surely right. Well, to you throw... wouldn't be. It would just. You would not want it to happen. But if it did, you just buy one and. It'd right. be it'd be your excuse to buy a nice new oven with some new right. features. Play got right. play got Wi-Fi app for doing the self cleaning now. Right. So you can... I used right. it with my kids when they turned like thirteen. I was like, you know what, you guys are done. Just leave. Yeah. Got to get some new ones. <laughs> DS says for forty five hundred dollars, it better clean itself. <laughs> but better cook dinner and give you a blowjob afterwards as well. Hey DS. My coworker was telling me about this cool washer dryer that's both. It's like both a washer and a dryer, not a stacked. It's that's oh, a U that's a UK thing. They're really common oh, man, in the UK. Cool. They're really yeah, common. He, he's, it's expensive though, man. Like not well, really. It, not as not as bad as it was. It sounded like two K now, which isn't too bad. I mean, that's no. Pain in the you can you can get you, so much as was. You can buy them second hand for a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah, he's not gonna. It's kind of a posh. If but, he, uh, it, it has IoT and all of that. And I'm like, dude, why like. I guess that'd be kind of cool. I guess so you could see on your watch like how many, how much time stuff. And stuff. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm not, not in, really. I'm, I'm not installing an app for the fucking washing machine. Like fuck that. I'm <laughs> just not. I have an app. I've never used it. Exactly. Like who, who wants a fucking alert never. to let you know that the never. washing's done? Like oh great. 
another alert. I want. I know, and then it's like, oh, you can turn it on remotely, and it's like, or I can just turn it on. <laughs> yeah, <my own>. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like I, I needed to d delay start. Like, what right. is the purpose of that? I saw a dude on Dragon's Den, and his idea was to have a bathtub that you controlled from your phone. <laughs> so like, yeah, so like, oh my, so you come home to a hot bath. Well, you could program it. You could put in a preset for exactly how full you wanted the bath and what temperature you liked it, and then you could go on the app and like, say you were ten minutes from home. Yeah, you could run a bath remotely. Or like oh, you God. didn't, you didn't even have to get like who the f who the fuck? Did he get gonna... finding? No, no, he didn't. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> even the dragons were like, yeah, we just we just run our own baths, you know, we just turn the tap on and water comes out. Like, yeah, <laughs> like it's, I have a wife for it's that. Fine, <laughs> like yeah, just ask her to draw me a bath. It's when they home. they're now we're now in an age where we're inventing problems so that there's some problems yeah. to solve. Do you know what I mean? Like a hundred percent. Like we've gone we've gone a couple of thousand years of taking baths and now we need an app to do yeah. it. <laughs> like, oh, we can't do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking self-cleaning ovens and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to take a short break. So you guys, uh, do you want to be in the Put manhole? Or do you just want to... Put Harry on. I'm putting Harry outside in case he needs to take a big shit, and that's what he's crying about. Um, that's not, but okay. Well, just in case, because I... Okay. You know, I already took a big shit out there, and I don't want another one out there. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys want to be in the manhole, or do you just want to talk about me? Don't everyone answer let's at go, once. Let Scoby decide. Scoby, give them your pick of the week this week, and then everyone bet on the opposite thing. Anyway, I'll be back in five minutes. Also, make them go to macronshow.com forward slash tip. No one's, no one's tipping tonight because they hate us. I'll be back. Oh, I'm going to talk about the free show. Good idea. Tell them all about so, it again. Tell, Explain it to all everyone. All about it to the new people. So you have to be in Discord, and if you're not in Discord, you should be in there and get in there now so that you're ready for tomorrow night when we have an appreciation show that is free. And also, it's going to be a really amazing show. And we hope that you will be there. And um, that's all I have to say. Scoby, do you have your pick of the week? While you're waiting, I do want to reiterate what you'd said. And, like, at 10 minutes after, curtain closed. <laughs> the curtain call is closed because it's really tough to be dealing with all that shit. That's right. Don't come on, like, after the show starts for the first time saying you can't connect. This course Once the music's off. over, it's over. <laughs> right. Do it tonight. It's free. And then yeah. you're in there. And it's a great place to be, is it not, Chumley? It is. This is the best community out there. It is. Because I'm here. Uh, this, uh, is it is literally, here. this is literally the best community I've found out there. You so have far. direct access to Chumley's mind 24 7. Don't Where else scare him like that. that? Where they, else can you get access here? to that high level computerized thinking? No. Nowhere. Nowhere. You got me wrong. I'm the faker. Didn't well, hear the my There's no shit. Didn't sound very good. No shit pick this week. This is a shit game. So uh, no gonna pick? make picks? What was that? No picks? It's a really crappy game. It's a terrible game. So you gotta make your picks anyway, alright? So make shit so make crappy picks. Yeah, make shit up so people fucking go out there and but like make it so they're paying buying your Bitcoin instead and then we'll do a rug pull. Oh, I should add it's gonna be approximately five PM to six PM EST tomorrow so get into discord i don't know if you know this or not um you're having some um you're like mike's cutting out on you it's not too bad i'm just letting you know i i'm not on a mic sorry i'm i, I will be in a minute i don't i don't know what maybe it's just the internet or something i just want to let you know in case you didn't know but thank we, you we got most you know we, got, we definitely got with context what you're saying is that Something better? About giving the dogs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually does sound better. Okay. Okay. I'm not repeating anything. Okay. I don't fuck with you. And I don't fuck with you. Stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I ain't ever living with you. I love that song for some reason. We have some amazing calls to tonight. We're trying some new things. It'll be fun. 
if someone can like use their little think like their their thinking brain or whatever, if you can think of a call that hasn't been posted in the last four or five shows or like five months, get, let me know what call you want to hear because I'm looking for one yeah, to post tonight. If you if you're in Discord and you can DM Chumley any calls that you have posted that you want posted, he's really looking for some ideas. And Lucas is coming this week, guys. So I know it's going to be a hit. It's going to be one of the. It's the most requested oh, thing I've heard, and I guarantee it's going to be a hit, man. Is Lucas with the iPhones? Yes, dude. I, I, I cannot fucking wait, dude. I'm, I'm the so excited. best one. Oh, you're doing a Lucas compilation? I'm I'm gonna do a Lucas compilation. Yes, I, it, it, I've been wanting wow. to for so long, dude. I just even just for my own sake of hearing all that shit, I want to hear it so bad. Uh, Munson, tonight's not a shit game. You oh, cool. we got a new plan? Nah, I don't care. I mean, it's not a shit game, though. Isn't that subjective? Jacksonville's though? a 10 point favorite. Uh, <laughs> it's as bad as it gets. I mean, I hell, know. you want to put $2 on the fucking Bengals and try to, you know, yeah. they're like a 4 to 1 underdog. Then. But it's not, I don't think it's going to be too competitive. Let's talk about those Obviously, college. I've been wrong before. Let's talk about these college games that passed this weekend. Fuck like yeah, did, did, who do you think didn't deserve to get in? Florida State didn't deserve to get in. They fucking suck. That's enough sports talk. They almost got their ass whipped by fucking, a, fucking, a fucking high school team. Oh, no. Louisville. Did did we lose Chumley on the camera? Oh, oh well, you went on break. Hold on. Oh. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It's my time to oh. rip some bong. Uh, I mean, um, cut my cat. Come on, sir. So I went out there to, to let the dog out, and now he's just asleep in bed. He's like, what do you want? <laughs> he said, I'm tired of wine, and fuck you. Ah, he's like disrupted half the show he's done now. What a jerk. And let me just say last, the, uh, I did say the Niners were going to beat Philly's fucking ass. Yeah, and they surely fucking did. God damn, that was a horrible game. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Who else needs my help around here? Did anyone tip? Nobody tipped. How many likes we got? Let me check on the likes. Uh, 77 likes. That's actually pretty good. I'll let them off for that, but we need more tips. MacronShow.com forward slash tip. He's Get saying they there. released a GTA trailer already. It must have got leaked. Bullshit. Is that right, Dylan? Bullshit. Dylan? Dylan, I don't want to mispronounce your name. He's yeah, in chat. Released yesterday. At least it's yesterday. Insane. Really? They released the trailer for GTA 6 just now. I thought it was coming out tomorrow. Well, I think it's yeah, released that they decided to just go with it because they don't want it to get out there before. They want it on their terms, you know? And people have already been leaking the hell out of it. Yeah, some kid whose dad works for Rockstar leaked a bunch of shit the other day. <laughs> <laughs> they did a lot of fake stuff, too. Which I started buying. I'm like, dude, this game looks like shit. I'm like, dude, that's fake, Joe. What the fuck? Holy fuck, yeah. It's it's all up in the news headlines right now. It says released now. Uh, Rockstar Games has decided to post the full GTA 6 trailer ahead of schedule. Our trailer has leaked, so please watch the real thing on YouTube, says Rockstar. Holy fuck, it's here. Should I play it? Should I play it for everyone on the show? As long as you rub it yeah, fast enough. I don't... Cool, so. I don't think I can get copyright fucked for playing a trailer, can I? Probably not. We'll find out. We'll find out anyway. I mean, I want to see it. So, like, well, that's what we're doing right now. And you already played hold music, so you're already basically copyright struck anyway. Yeah, oh, fuck it. All uh, right. Uh, see if I can get it up on screen for you guys. Here it is. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, hold on. Let me get rid of all these pop-ups. Let me make it go full screen. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Let me just stretch it out a bit here. So I can it... give you some computer lessons if you ever need it. Thanks. I'm not very good with I'm computers. The There's a the old guy there to help you out. All right, guys. Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. You get to watch it here first. Let's watch it. In... Let's see if it'll do 4K. All right. Here we go, guys. Grand Theft Auto 6. It's only a minute 30 long, so here we go.
to see ya. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Who's back? The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. <laughs> Trust? Trust. Oh fuck! Did you see that at the end? Coming twenty twenty five. Really, I'm sorry, everyone. Really, I have to. Really, <laughs> coming twenty twenty five. Are you fucking? You're gonna get <laughs> copyright strikes for. I don't care. Are you fucking kidding me? Coming twenty twenty five. Is it? Tom Petty song? Like I've never, I've never heard that song before. It's probably a copyrighted song, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I'm wondering really, if they use AI to make it. 2025, like, are you fucking kidding me? Is that a joke? Sure that was real? No, that's yeah, real. Like, that's real. I mean, it looks cool and everything, but yeah, why like. They, why would they show a trailer to. This is just like the day, day, the night before, the day before, or whatever. They're going to be fucking dealing with this shit for two years. Jesus, two years of trailers. That's stupid, man. I don't wow. understand that at all. Wow. I mean, it looks. Yeah, DS, that picture's fucking nuts. It looks cool and everything, but I'm not excited anymore. I mean, <laughs> like I can't wait that long. She was, she was dropping it on top of the roof of the car. Yeah, was that was that from the game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I mean, it looks nice and everything, but 2025. Like I really was expecting it to say 2024 at least. I then they'll have like a PS6. They'll have a whole new game. <laughs> it's like they're building all on the old uh, old architecture and shit. I mean, GTA Five was built for PS3, so yeah, it's like, it's, fun, it's got a, it's going to be a whole new engine and stuff. But like, I just yeah, whatever, whatever. Talk to me in two. I like that top picture, man. It looks freaking phenomenal. Talk talk to me in like two years. Yeah, the graphics look good, but it's a trailer, isn't it? I mean. Yeah, like I mean, that's not even a real girl, and I kind of want to go out with her. <laughs> Uh, we had a tip from just say no to Holcraft. I don't know what that means, but he says do a little Hank for me. Hi guys, Hank here. I'll try and get a. I'll try and get Hank on a call just for you. Thanks for doing a tip at macronshow.com forward slash tip though. Pfft, holy shit! Wow. Hey, it's gonna be like December twenty twenty five. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well, guaranteed it will be. It'll be two. It'll be like two years from now. We'll be getting ready for it to you come know, out. That'd be Christmas time. So next year is going to be a shitty year for games, then basically. <laughs> like, you mean this whole de decade, like this 2020 so, and on so far, has been shit for games, man. Kind of, kind of has. They're, just, they're really dropping the ball. Like I think there've been three good games that came out. You know what I mean? And since 2021, at release, obviously, like Cyberpunk became good, but it wasn't at release. And hey, did we already post the Seacrest? The first called the Seacrest. Seacrest Crest. Didn't we post that already? Probably not. No, we can upload that one if you want. Please? We totally can. Yeah, up upload yeah, it anyway. Pe people will love it. People will love it. I, I just need someone to tell me where it is. Like... Speaking of games, though, while I've got everyone here, if someone could go to macronshow.com forward slash donate and click on the Steam wish list and send me that Robocop game, that'd be great. Because I put that on my wish list ages ago, and then I was like... I love Robocop, but I was like, that game looks like it's going to suck. And then it came out, and all the reviews are really, really good. So I want to I wanna live stream it for you guys. Robocop Ron. Just go to macronshow.com forward slash donate and click on the Steam wish list. That would be... How much is it? Oh, fuck if I know. Like 40 bucks. Um, I'm going halfsies if somebody wants to put the other half. <gasps> Someone do it. Someone do it. Robocop stream. Robocop stream. Make it happen. 
Anyway, let's do some calls before everyone gets pissed. Uh, who's waiting for my help? Let's go to... I guess I'm in the hot numbers room right now. Hot numbers. Uh, is there no fresh left? No. I think I got all the fresh ones. Let me just double check there. I've been away for about 10 minutes. How dare What about you? that one, Samsung? Did you get it? No, actually, I didn't do the Samsung one. Uh, so what happened to this guy? Looks like he had a new panel put on. It looks like a TV, a broken TV, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it looks like someone replacing the panel on the TV and the new... Like you dropped this fucking TV and trying to bring get it fixed. Hmm. I'm just going to accuse him of dropping it anyway. That was going to be my whole plan. Yeah, you know, being an influencer and playing pranks on people at home doesn't always work out that well, does it? And it's not our fault you broke the goddamn thing. Yeah. That's usually how the TV gets broke. You have the worst customer service ever, says Mike. Ah. <sighs> More exaggerations. Well, he's about to meet the worst than that. Well, hopefully Nintendo's going to release a new games console next year. That'll be something to get excited about. I'm sure that'll be. Your call has been forwarded to an. I mean, they showed it off to some game developers, and it was running at 4K 60 FPS. So. Your call has been forwarded to an automated to a voice. Hmm. To a handheld. Yeah. God damn. All right. Yeah. Apparently, that's what. Your they said. call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Oh wow! This dude just turned his phone right off. or put me on block. Like really. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Damn you, let me try his other number. Some people just don't want my help. We're sorry, ah, you have reached... Alright, that number doesn't work. One more, one more time for the first number, because i got a feeling this is going to be funny. Excuse me, i got a meeting in three minutes. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Nope, fine. You're not getting any help from me. All right, let's go to the hot numbers section. So we already did this guy with the parking job over at budget. What the hell? The lives of all passengers on this bus were nearly lost because of a medical emergency. We refused to stop driving. Holy shit, this next this next complaint actually sounds really serious. I'm gonna call it. Um hopefully this person picks up and they can tell us the whole story. I'm very interested. He's saying that the driver nearly killed everybody. That is exciting, to be fair. At least it's not an exploding oven or some stale donuts or whatever. All right, let's see. Edward. The Google Fi wireless subscriber you have called is not available. No. Please leave a message. Don't be like that, Edward. Come on. Edward.
Hi, I'm an automated calling assistant recording this call for the person you're trying to reach. Can I ask what you're calling about? I'm calling from Greyhound to speak to Edward. Thanks. Connecting you now. You better, robot. Hello, this is Ed. Hi, Ed. Ronathan calling from the Corporate Liaison Information team at Greyhound. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually passed your details by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with quite a serious incident. Correct. Um, could you tell me, just in your own words, what happened? Um, well, I, I definitely sent um, an email already. Um, I can look up the case number. Uh, I just... <laughs> um, I pretty much wrote it all well, in that email as well. Yeah, we, we, um, we have the email. I'd just like to personally hear okay. in, your, in your own words kind of your story and what happened to you, if that's okay. Yeah, um, it was uh, 4.15 a.m. on November 9th, uh, southbound Interstate 5, going to the Great Plain, which is the mountain range just north of L.A., and we were off down so towards Los Angeles. And um, it was 4 15, so everybody was asleep. I was, um, I wonder if it was three feet uh, from the front. I think there were two. You're breaking up a little. empty sir. Ridge. So you're breaking up Hello? quite, yeah, you, you're breaking up quite badly there. Can you get to an area with better reception, maybe? Is, is this better now or no? A little, but not much. It's You've got really bad signal there. Um, <laughs> I'm on a cell phone, so I don't know really where to go. Um, mm. Is it still the same right now? No, that's better. That's better. If you want to continue from oh, there, that'd okay. be great. Yeah, it was. Uh, where did where did where did I break up? So you were driving in the uh, mountains near LA, is that right? Yeah, the Grapevine Mountains. Um, yep. It's uh, just north of LA. We were going southbound on Interstate Five. Um, and everybody was sleeping cause it was 4.15 in the morning and, um, everybody was kind of woken up because there was a crash, um, that I, I don't think anybody knew what it was at the time, but it was, um, um, the driver like basically was ping ponging across the freeway, like going across lanes. I think it was two lanes, um, you know, like rear ending trucks, um, in front of it. Um, there was broken glass. I definitely heard glass, glass breaking. Um, but just, I wasn't sure what was going on. And so I kind of tried to go back to sleep cause I just thought it was a one-off, but it clearly wasn't a one-off. And so, um, yeah, it was a struggle forcing the, uh, bus driver to stop driving. And um, I was one of the first ones to call 911. Um, and I tried to describe what I was witnessing. Um, there were two or three people up in the front trying to, um, you know, force the bus driver to stop the car. <laughs> um, they were they managed to, but then the bus driver started driving again. So we stopped and then. We stopped on the left-hand side, and then the bus driver started driving again, and like we ended up in the right-hand, um, whatever that is, a shoulder or whatever on the right-hand side of the freeway. And that is when we crashed into the, the side rail, and the bus driver, was, we were able to um, get him out of the driving driver's seat, and someone, I want to say, is... A, a male um, put on the brake and um, I don't know, for some reason the brake wasn't like, even if you put the brake, it bus wouldn't stop. So the guy had to like, the guy who was eventually took over the, the driver's seat had to um, basically hold the brake. Um, so the, uh, Finally, CHP came, and then paramedics, and um, we were in the truck for maybe, or the bus, for maybe like 
20, 30 minutes while the paramedics were trying to, I don't keep the driver alive, but the driver did not make it. Um, so um, around, I guess, that time, um, the other, like, I think, I'm not sure if it was paramedics or fire department or someone, it was some kind of help. Um, they came, they um, were able to get one of the um, the windows for the bus open, they got a ladder, um, they helped us climb out and evacuate the bus. Um, some people got out, some people did not because it was like, you know, 30 degrees outside. <laughs> Um, and they were just very cold. Um, I was one of the ones that got that wanted to get out because there was, I did not, I, I mean, I was the third row back and, um, I mean, there was just a dead body right next to me <laughs> that I didn't want to be next to. So, um, mm-hmm. it's a little, um, I guess diffic- it's pretty difficult for me to talk about without kind of like. Um, I kind of have to approach it with like almost like gallows humor duck kind of morose because it's pretty um, traumatic. So <clears throat> just to get this right, you've contacted our complaints team about this. What is the complaint exactly? Is the complaint that the, our driver died? Are you not? Do you have issue with that? Um, the complaint is that ultimately the service is not fulfilled. Right, so be- <clears throat> I requested. Are you? Hold on a minute. I'm just going to close my office door here for a second. <clears throat> um, so hold on, hold on, hold on, um, hold on. Right. First of all, oh, okay, first, I'm sorry, I'm first, sorry. first of all, shut up. Okay. A man fucking died oh, okay. driving his bus, and you have the audacity to reach out and complain that the service wasn't very good. Are you fucked in the head? You whiny little effeminate prick. Like, are you fucking serious? The dude fucking died. I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose just to inconvenience you. This isn't like a systemic customer service failure, is it? A fucking man died doing his job, okay? It's a fucking tragedy. No one did it deliberately just to give you bad customer service, you fucking Karen. Jesus Christ. Do you think he just chose to die just to annoy you? Like, do you really think the whole fucking universe just revolves around you so much? That when a person dies, it's just an inconvenience to your fucking journey. You fucking loser. You apologize right now, you twat. Like, seriously, have you heard yourself? This service wasn't very good. The driver went and died. You fucking silly prick. Holy shit. I, I, I actually am fucking flabbergasted right now. What the fuck is actually wrong with you, dude? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Well? Explain yourself, you fucking halfwit. Come on. Like, really? A dude fucking dies, and you're not happy with the service. Are you for real? Don't sit there all fucking speechless. I know you're still on the line. I'm here. Yeah. What do you got to say for yourself, you fucking dopey prick? What are you, just some fucking giant man, Karen? Other people dying is an inconvenience to you. That guy had a family, you know. That guy had a family and people that loved him. Do you think they want to hear about some fucking whiny-voiced, effeminate little douchebag on the phone going, Oh, but my service wasn't very good. The next fucking journey you take, I'm going to fucking nail your lips to the back of the bus and drive you around town, okay? See how you like that service? You stupid prick. Really, dude? Really? Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say in your defense? I don't think I need to defend myself. Oh, you fucking should do. You're honestly, you're honestly unhappy because a man died and that inconvenienced your customer service. Are you fucking serious? You have got to be the biggest cunt that I've called this year, and I've called some real cunts. Holy fucking shit, what a dickhead. 
What an actual fucking real life grade A prime cut number one dickhead you are. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. You have nothing to say, no? What is it you actually want, Edward? Hmm? What do you want? You want some free bus journeys to make up the, for the inconvenience of a man dying? I don't you think I said that. You fucking but... spoiled little brat. You fucking whiny, overfed, effeminate voiced fucking ball breaker. You prick. I'm guessing you have no fucking friends, right? What were you doing on that Greyhound bus? Getting the fuck out of LA because everyone got sick of your shit already. Let's go take a look at your social media since you're not saying anything. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Let's take a look here. So, you joined Twitter in April of 2008. Long time ago there. In that time, you've managed to accrue three, 743 followers. Well, there we go. I'm just looking at your profile picture. You look like some kind of fucking spastic bastard over here. The fuck's wrong with your face, first of all? Is that you in the profile picture? My God, you... I don't know where you're looking. I'm looking at your Twitter profile, dipshit. You look like a fucking idiot with your fucking Hitler haircut and your terrible fucking teeth. What's going on over there? Are you just some kind of fucking prick or what? Like, what's wrong with you? I, I genuinely would like an explanation. I have never met such a fucking whining, useless cunt in all my life. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well? Oh, look, and it turns out you only use social media to complain. Look at this. Back in October, it was Target. In November, it was the Chase Center. Is that all you do is go online and whine? You've been whining about the public transit. What else have you been whining about? You fucking pathetic little man, Karen. Man, Karen, that's what I'm going to call you from now on, you fucking dickless piece of shit. I mean, seriously. Does it not occur to you at all that a man died and you're complaining about his bad customer service? I mean, are you really just fucking stupid? Oh, excuse me, Ronathan, I'm just overhearing your call. Is this the guy complaining about the bus driver who passed away? Yeah, do you remember we had a driver die last well, month? This guy's sir, not happy because the customer service wasn't good. Did you know that we're actually awarding that guy's family a medal of honor because in his last moment of life, he took his last minute of life to make sure every passenger on that bus was safe before he passed away. Can you believe he did that? He but could he, have crashed the bus. No, no, no. But in his last breath, he carefully stopped the bus the best he could before he passed away. But Edward here. The mayor's going to be presenting him with a medal of honor. Edward here. No, no, no. Edward's not happy with that because he had to wait for 20 minutes for the replacement bus to arrive. 20 minutes. Oh I mean, goodness. you think you think that bus driver went through an absolute horror show? He's lucky he's show. alive, isn't he? At he's least, he at least that driver hadn't didn't have to go through the sheer horror of having to wait twenty minutes for a replacement bus because that would have been really horrible for his family, wouldn't it, Edward? You're lucky you're alive, Edward. In more ways than one. I'm, I'm you have been cr on that bus could have crashed with everyone on it, but that driver, in his last breath, made sure that you were safe have you no humility or gratefulness for any of that no What's he's just a problem? cunt i wish uh, that in his last breath that driver had crawled his way down the bus and strangled edward to death because then we'd all be a lot better off wouldn't we such an ungrateful prick what a fucking cunt you absolute piece of shit i would spit in your face if you were here right now cunt is there anything else we can help you with though sir while you're on the line there's nothing else. Okay. Do me a favor. Next time you cross the street, don't bother looking. All right, Edward? Bye. Okay. You got that? Bye. Bye, Edward. Fuck you. Hang up, you prick. Go on. Better yet, go buy a car. Yeah, go buy a fucking car. Drive up to the hills of LA, go back to the site of the bus crash, and fucking drive off the side. 
Thelma and Louise style, except you'll never get anybody else to get in a fucking car with you with those teeth. Got that, you prick? What a fucking asshole. Edward, don't have any kids. Please do. I mean, it doesn't sound like you Edward, will anyway, but don't, you, don't fucking reproduce. Were you 20 reproduce. minutes late for your for your grinder date because the bus was delayed 20 minutes, so your grinder date had to wait? Yeah. He How would happen? He was 20 minutes late for sitting in a hotel room alone jacking off. Probably. No, he's still on the line. He's just sitting there like a clever little prick recording it because he thinks it's actually going to get somewhere with his fucking 700 followers that it's taken him nearly 15 years to fucking get. I hate you, Edward. We all hate you. We hate you, Edward. Fuck you. Bye. I'm going to... What? Edward, if Tommy could slap, if Tommy could slap the taste out of your mouth, he would. By the what way, what an absolute cunt! So, like, as he was talking, I started typing this into Google because I was like, if the driver died, surely it was in the news. And yeah, it was. I can like the news stories are very exciting. Uh, it says the male driver initially was thought to have been falling asleep while operating the bus. He stopped the vehicle on the right shoulder near Smoky Bear Road, about eight miles south of Gorman, uh, and was shortly after pronounced dead. So. uh... Poor fucking guy. It must have been a stroke or a heart attack or something. Uh, yeah, but that guy's lucky to be alive. The bus like, he could have crashed the bus. Uh, this is the best thing. At the bottom, it says Greyhound wanted everyone to know that the bus wasn't even operated by Greyhound. It was being operated by a company called Tour Coach at the time. Don't know why they added imagine, that in there. But imagine, imagine complaining, complaining about, about the customer service because a man died whilst driving you your would bus. Just be like horrified. I I just fucking didn't even know where to go with that. And one. didn't and didn't you think that's where the call was going? That he was like, I'm really upset that this happened. Blah blah blah. I was but waiting no, was to see where the complaint. Yeah, like I was waiting for him to say, Oh, I got injured or something happened or whatever. Like, but. No, he just wasn't no, happy was with it. No, I giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he didn't know the dude actually passed away. But there's no, zero no. empathy. From he said it zero. himself. He told me they passed zero away. Zero empathy. Yeah, he, zero I, empathy. I, I wouldn't have known the dude passed away until he told me. All he cared about was the customer service wasn't very good because he had to wait for another bus. Like, can you... And 20 minutes is not bad to wait for another bus. It says in the news that article topic. that... It says a new in the news article, it says Greyhound arranged a replacement bus within 30 minutes. Like, and he's still not happy. Well, he was cold. <laughs> he was cold because he was 30 outside. fucking degrees in LA. He like, didn't, he didn't want to sit with, with a dead body next to him. Oh my like, god. What a fucking ungrateful oh, person. That's it. He's going in the, uh, he's going in the bad people room, not the insane people room. I'm putting him in the fucking bad people room. I feel like he kind of liked it. <sighs> What, the dead body? No, the yelling at, the like Ron yelling at him. I think his wife enjoyed sitting next to the dead body because it showed more fucking life than what he wife? has. What wife? Yeah, what yeah. wife? Yeah, let's 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 assume he's single. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all his details in the fucking bad people. If room. you want to hear where this ends up, come on the free show tomorrow night. Maybe there'll be part two. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually tomorrow on the listener appreciation show that I'm doing for free in Discord. I'm going to call this guy and roast him up again. When are you doing that? Hey, ask him real shit. Uh, tomorrow. Real shit though, Ron. You've never fucking ever had a call like that before, right? Someone so... I... No, no. Somebody so fucking self-centered that... That a man... Never. A man... Di they complained that another man dying was an inconvenience to them. I'm, I'm fucking flabbergasted. I've never but heard imagine anything if, like imagine it. Imagine if you, if you knew someone and they were telling you this... You would like you couldn't even imagine knowing like, someone who would like if I if that I think he's a creep. Look at look at his uh, Twitter name. If that yeah, he's he looks creepy as fuck. Like if that happened to someone you know, like if your friend called you and was like, "Oh my god, I was on a Greyhound bus yesterday and the fucking driver died." You'd feel terrible for them going through such a traumatic event, and you would like, be like, "Thank God you're okay." Yeah. And I'm so sorry for that 
that driver and his family. But like all the oh. all the all that would matter is that everyone else was okay, right? And you'd feel bad for the driver. Like you wouldn't complain about yeah. anything. Like like you'd just be thankful that everyone else was okay and it didn't what didn't turn out much fucking worse. Like he didn't oh. drive it off the fucking side of a mountain. Which could have easily happened. Well, by the sounds of it, yeah. And yeah. Like, and do you like how dude was like he was like, I woke up because there was fucking broken glass and the bus crashed into something, but I figured it was a one-off, so I went back to sleep. <laughs> like, you like fucking, do loser. you Ooh. fucking dozy wait, 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 prick. Wait, I got something on him. What have you got on him? I got something on him. He's a co-founder of this shit. Of oh. this travel, young professional trans transportation. Oh, yeah. What? Wait a um, minute. That. What's his first name? Wait, so he has a company. Uh, Edward. Yeah, tomorrow's the Edward show. He's from San Francisco. Of course he don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's going to be some fuckery on the show tomorrow, believe me. You're not going to want to miss it, guy. Gonna... Fuckery tomorrow. i got to fuck this guy up. Just what an absolute cunt. Like, I could barely believe what I was even hearing. Like, when I asked what the actual complaint is, and he said, well, it's just the, the service and having to wait. And, like, 30... Could you imagine complaining? I just can't even. Like, wouldn't you just be so grateful that you were walking out of there fine? Right, yeah. Wouldn't you just be happy to be alive? Men, yeah. Family? Wouldn't, wouldn't you just be happy to be alive, like, if you made it out of that? Like... I mean, it sounds like yeah. the driver was a hero. I mean, it's it's got to be a stroke or a heart attack, Belfast, for him to die that quickly as well. Like, it's got to be. Yeah, and they're and he, he they're lucky he stop like he had the wherewithal to be like something's really wrong. I'm going to stop the bus. A lot of people don't. They just have it in the middle of the road and that's it for everybody, and it was, right? This is what gets me, though. And he even mentions this in the tweet. He mentions how they had to forcibly remove the driver from the seat. I'm like, well, five minutes later, he died. So I would fucking question whether he was of sound mind and body at the time. Do you know what I mean? As he was being forcibly removed from the seat. Like, he literally died five minutes later, you cunt. Like, obviously, something was up with him. Uh, it's, po it's possible dude had a stroke and just didn't have his fucking wits about it him at all. sounds like a like, stroke or a heart attack, right? Yeah, but uh, the way he's... He didn't say anything about any erratic driving or none of that shit. No, he was fine until he wasn't. You know, it's one of those things, like... Like, Jesus Christ, like... I mean, it could be like me, just flip the fucking bus and kill everybody. Maybe he got sick. Right, of course. Sick, maybe he got sick of Edward's stupid face and he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> he got sick of looking at Edward, so he fucking drove it into a wall. Well, holy fuck. Rest in peace to that bus driver, though. That really fucking sucks. It just reminds me of that old joke. What is it? Um... When I die, I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather did and not screaming in terror like the passengers on his bus. Oh! Badoom. All right, let's get on with it. Maybe that was him. <laughs> DS like that one. Oh. Stay tuned for, for Edward Part 2 tomorrow. Oh, we're gonna, I'm going to fucking get him. I'm going to fuck Everyone him out. Everyone, come and listen. It was a chick. The bus driver was a chick. Oh, it really? was a lady? Yeah. Really? Oh. oh. Well, that's fair. Right? Well, it's not really oh. relevant, but fair enough. I mean... It? <laughs> then it couldn't have been as hard to move the body. <laughs> exactly. What's he complaining about? Could have been a big fat man. Jesus Christ. Really? Oh, she, just... she probably has... There's probably some kids who don't have a mother today, you piece of shit guy. Fucking YouTuber watching me right now, like, right... Right, so this guy's played the uh, played the trailer for Grand Theft Auto Six, and now he's ragging on dead people. Let's uh, let's look at his monetization. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> can we get back to the regular scheduled program of me hitting on blonde white women? Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, are there, are there any well, blonde white women in here? Oh, you like her, Scobie? You like her, Scobie? I do. Like her. I yeah. can tell. Is he talking about the bus driver? Oh, is that the bus driver? Who is he talking yeah. about? No. Who are you talking that... about that you like? I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm in a different room on here right now. No, I didn't read the top. 
Oh, never mind. It's not her. It's a I just see Scooby complaining. No, he likes Erica. Oh, Erica, the chick that complained. Oh, my God. The bus well, I driver. Was, I thought that was the yeah, bus driver. You scared the shit out of me. I was like, I hope that wasn't her. I thought, I thought uh, everybody was knows uh, that Scooby only uh, does necrophilia on paid or private supporter shows. Oh, my only. Lord. Not on, the, not on Monday nights. Hazel, Hazel, my bad. I thought that was the bus driver. Um, Can you imagine? Erica's the, the driver, the hero, and then posted this chick's information. <laughs> no, yes. Erica's not unattractive. I'll give you that. She's kind of we'll, like dirty, pretty, slutty, pretty. Yeah, we'll 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 ask her about all about her sluttiness when I call. But first of all, we have a problem at UPS that I need to deal with. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I hope to God it's not as horrible as the last customer. Cause fuck. Hello. Hi, I'm calling from UBS. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is we received a complaint about a problem with a, an, a, an access code or something like that. Uh, what happened? Well, no, I I guess my package couldn't be delivered because they didn't have an access code, or but I can't like update it on UPS and neither can the sender. Oh, why not? I'm not sure. Like, whenever I try and do it, it says that it I, it can't be done contact sender. And then I contacted where I bought it from. I bought it from um, Coach, and they were saying that this package wasn't, like, they couldn't do it on their end either. Oh, and you, you just decided not to put the access code on when you placed the order? No. Like, I just mm. placed like my address you know yeah. on there it didn't have like any delivery but you didn't or... you didn't put any instructions you didn't mention that there was a special code to get in that would stop the delivery being able to be made if you didn't have the code well from what i know like my apartment they give all of the shippers access codes so like i mean because i saw uh, an, another thing in there anyways but like there wasn't even options for that whenever I placed the order through coach to like give specific delivery instructions and then again I can't even do it on like UPS right now like whenever I go to update the instructions it says like I can't do it contact seller yeah no it is definitely the seller the sender that needs to put the instructions in but it's not allowing them to do it either I just got off the phone with their customer service oh Okay, because they have, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they have a UPS business account with us, and on every order it says any additional delivery instructions, and then they would type the instructions. Well, well can I just pick the item up if, like, there's no way to update the thing? Uh, so the item is with a driver at the moment. Um, let me just ch double check that it hasn't been returned yet. Uh-huh. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's with my driver, um, Scoby, at the moment. I'm just trying to see if I can get a phone number for him. What I could do, mm -hmm. which may speed things up, is um, I could call the driver directly that has your package, find out when he's due to go mm -hmm. back there, um, and basically give him the code, find out if he can. Because I understand, has he already made an attempt to deliver this? Yeah, it was like at 2.30, it said. 2.30 today? Yeah. Okay, let me just make a note of that. Uh, All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, it's okay. so some, I'm in a call center, so we get a lot of noise. Um, uh, just making a note of all this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've managed to locate the driver. And uh, 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 so, Mr. Scoby, I'm just checking his log. And yeah, 2.33 p.m. it says that he made a delivery attempt. Um, and it's saying there was a code on the door and he didn't have the code. Um, are there any other instructions he needs to know to, to, to make the delivery, or is that it? Um, no, it's just a code to get through the gate. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call up... 
I'm going to call up the driver now, um, find out when he can make a re-delivery, and obviously give him the code number. Um, can you stay on the line while I just okay. try and patch him in? Okay. Perfect. Won't take a moment. Yeah, this is Scobie. Hi, Scobie. It's Ronathan at Corporate. How are you doing? Who is this? It's Ronathan at Corporate. UBS. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, I'm calling about a delivery attempt that you made today, 2.33 p.m. Um, there was no door code. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, I couldn't get in. I tried to I tried to get in through the back. I couldn't get in, man. Yes, yeah, so I've got the lady on the phone with us right now. She's just wanting to she actually wants to give you the door code. Get in the house. You can motherfuckers don't give me a call, you know. Yeah, she's on the line right now. Um and uh she's asking if you can if you can get back there and make the delivery. She's willing to give you the code now. Is this for Mrs. Williams? Uh, it was a delivery for Williams, I believe it was. Uh, is that correct, ma'am? Yes. Dan, Dandria, yeah. Dandreth Williams? Yeah, yeah, she's on the line yeah, right yeah. now. Um, so, ma'am, this is your driver. I don't know if maybe you want to make an arrangement with him. Okay. Um, I can give you the code. It's like the main gate that goes to where the... Um, sorry. Why didn't you give it to me the, the first time? Part. Because one, Mrs. whenever Williams, I place the order to the shipper, that info, I like it doesn't allow me to give delivery instructions from the website that I got it from. So that's that. There is. If you scroll down a bit, there's a tick. There's a box that you can tick down and put the code in. I Why didn't can, you do that? I can just pick it up from the station because I, I can just pick it up from the station. Well, that's not necessary it, now because apparently my superior went ahead and called me up. So now I, I have to deliver this package. I might deliver that tonight. Is that okay? Uh, Okay, I, I mean, just appreciate okay, it going forward. Like, a, I didn't come at you with an attitude, but the pa the, the 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 gate code is asterisk nine one nine one. No, 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 no. I don't have an attitude. Okay. I showed up earlier okay. and was not able to go ahead and access okay. the property. I was not it able was to get in, so there's no attitude. I was not able to put in the thing if I could update it on my end. If I I really wanted to pick the package up to avoid any of this. Because this, this is insane. It, and mistakes happen. That's why I say you could just go ahead and finish your route, and I will pick it up so you don't have to backtrack. I'll tell your supervisor. I yeah, said it's, it's okay. That's unnecessary, ma'am. Well, ma'am, you've, ma ma you've already made a formal complaint about this driver, so he does need to, I wasn't to rectify. I to make a complaint, though. I just that's not what you said earlier. To see how to... I wasn't trying to make, I know, when you said were you trying to make a complaint, I said, no, this is what happened. I was just trying to get through at UPS because I couldn't get through to speak to a person. So whoever I got through, a mistake I just explained happened. to let's, them let's, that let's move forward. I tried. Ma'am, ma'am, okay. mistakes okay. happen. I'm anyway. not here to try to upset you. It, I mean, let's not get all ignorant. The last okay. three minutes. Mistakes happen. What was that? Now it's mistakes happen. When I said that, it was, if you scroll down. <gasps> Scoby, I'm sorry about this. Um, crazy. I, I, you know, this is the problem with you people. You admit to an estate, a mistake that you may make, but you truly, you truly do not take it in. You, you, you don't. You blame other people. You, it's always I the, 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 the man or some other I bullshit. Said, so you can hurry up and end your day. You could go ahead and just bring it back to the facility. I'm I coming will, over there I right will, now. I will leave my home. I am coming over there right now. Me and your black ass, we're going to have a discussion. We can absolutely have a discussion. You can drop my package off and you can go about your day. I need a signature. If I come over there now that you provided me with the code, are you going to give me a signature? Yes, I would love to give you a signature. Are you home right now? Could be there yes, in. Yes, my black. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. 
yes, my black ass is here. Like you said, my black ass is at home. And that's, I don't know, that's how you speak to your customers. There's no need to bring race into this, ma'am. Guys, Didn't say anything about guys, it. You uh, just said that's what's wrong with you people and is your black ass at home. Is the is the man from corporate still on the line? This is how you I'm talk to your. There you go again, blaming the man. Always blaming the man. That, that that is the problem with you people. I keep saying that. Ma'am, I I just have to let you both know that I am actually a, a a white guy and I'm feeling very awkward right now. And I'm a black woman. I'm and a I'm white. Being I'm a white man no myself. Reason. I don't, I don't understand why she's bringing race to pick up my package. He he. I don't like even. I didn't even do. All I did was. I'm not trying to do a complaint. I didn't know this was a complaint. All I did was call UPS to try and speak to a live person instead of a robot that kept hanging up on me. I got through to somebody. They sent me the tracking, and now I'm here. I've explained what happened, and now it's you people and your black ass. So that, that's wild. That is wild. That, that is unacceptable. That is not what I said. That's not oh. what I said. I didn't say that, Ron. But uh, Scobie, I, I, I'm just looking at your profile here on our HR system, and you, you are a, 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 a gentleman of, of color, I guess. He looks a bit like Drake, so kind of like half and half. I don't know, is that okay? Am I being punked? No, here? no, ma'am, no. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out if we've got a bigger issue on our hands right here. But this guy's, um, oh, okay. Look, are you happy for him to bring the package by, ma'am? I'm 15 minutes out. She I'll provided the code. Up. She can drop it off. It does not matter. Ma'am, you provide the code. I can be there in 15 minutes. You give me a signature. We can both move on our ways. Okay. All I'm saying right now, all I'm it. simply saying is if you need somebody, please allow me to finish. If you need somebody to help you access it and be able to put the code in, because apparently you didn't know how to do that the first time, oh my God. then we'd be more than happy to help you out there. Okay, Scoby, just this, okay, this well, time. The code is asterisk or star nine one nine one i i had that code ma'am he's got we've got the code down already i wrote that down um no oh, okay. look scoby what i would say is i know emotions are running high right now let's not have another incident like last time do not go in the house just stay outside hand over the package there okay i couldn't get in that's the i couldn't get in i tried to get in i tried to go through the bag i wasn't able to go through the Okay, but just I mean, don't, 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 let's not have another incident like the last time, okay? You are, you are still in your probationary no, period I, I, from I'm last time. No, I'm going to time. apologize to her. I, I want to see her face to face. I'm, I'm going to make a formal apology. She, she's very upset. You can hear that right now. She's very upset at me. Okay. I thought I need to make an apology to her. Okay, and how long till you can get your ass over there? I don't, I could be there in 15 minutes. Can you make it 10? Ma'am, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. All right, ma'am. Are you able to, or are you going to... Are you happy for me to okay. take this formal complaint off the driver's file then? Because you made a formal complaint against him. I wasn't trying to make a complaint. I was just trying to speak to customer service. Oh, I would I appreciate that because I'm only doing my job and I've already got two strikes against me. I, and I, I am, you know, I'm... I apologize for you for that. You know, my bad. I, I don't know what you do at work, but again, I just was <gasps> trying to get through customer service, and this is where I ended. I don't want. Would you like to apologize I was in person? Trying to do a complaint. I just want my package. That's it. That's all. Shaniqua, would I you like to apologize in person? I'm sorry. What did you say? Because I'm just. Would you like to apologize in person, Shaniqua? Who is Shaniqua? Is this really UPS? This can't be UPS. Well, I, I certainly am with UPS, ma'am. We do sometimes subcontract out drivers from other companies, but this this gentleman does work for us as well, yes, yes. I mean, I'm saying I could be there in 10 minutes, you know. Maybe me and you, we, we can work something out, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel kind of bad right now. I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know if you're doing anything right now, but I'd like to maybe, maybe me and you, we can... Uh, I could take you out, you know, Not again. wine and dine don't, and shit, you know. Don't do this again. Don't. No. Stop it. Don't. No, I'm seeing her profile picture. She one of those 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 sexy black women, like the the, the straight hair. She got straight hair. Let me see the picture. Oh damn, okay. Ma'am? Ma'am? I don't I don't think it's a weed. Ma'am? Is this UPS? 
If it would help alleviate the situation, I could take you for a drink. I make a lot more money than this man. I work at corporate. That she hung up. <laughs> oh my god. We should call her in 10 minutes and say the code's not working. All right, a lot of fresh complaints coming in tonight. I'll make sure I don't miss anybody. Fuck, look at this guy. Look at this EA guy. <laughs> this guy's username is Pizza Guy, and he's complaining that he paid 99 cents for an Electronic Arts trial so he could try out some games. And he's been trying for over three weeks, but he can't get it installed on his PlayStation 5. What a fucking grade A idiot we've got here. This is gonna if this guy picks up, this will be good. EA Sports, it's in the game. Can you say that for me, Scoby, in your regular voice? Can you say EA Sports, it's in the game for me? Oh, I've heard that growing up so many times, so I'm trying to remember the exact... Uh, it's like EA shit. Sports. EA Sports. Oh, that's right. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was perfect. Ew. That is perfect. Ew. It was good. Hello? Hi, John. My name is Ron. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team at EA. How are you doing? I'm all right. I've just been very frustrated, man, with EA Play. I mean, oh, I watched the game... Go ahead, yeah, I watched that game cross uh, subscription on YouTube and he constantly mentions you about how you can get the first month for ninety nine cents. You could play games like you know, Dead Space and I don't I don't I don't know like I don't know where to start. Like I don't know, I don't know how to connect the uh, accounts and how to start playing I don't know. So I wasted ninety nine cents. Not like it's a whole lot of money, but it is something. Uh, anyway, I'm just trying to tell you what happened with me. But how you doing? What are you gonna try and do for me today? I'm real good. So, uh, just to complain, you are uh, uh, just just to confirm. I'm sorry, you are uh, pizza right. pizza guy sixty nine, right? On social media, that's you. Pizza sixty nine guy for like twenty five years. Yes, I am. Sir. P pizza sixty nine guy. Okie dokie. So, uh, just making sure I got. Are the you right... in the UK? No, sir. I'm in uh, Southern California right now. Is that okay? Oh, check. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Did you want to speak to an American, or is it okay? To no, not at me? all. I have no preference with that at all. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's that's good. As long as I can get some help, that's all I'm, I'm looking for. Yeah, no problem. So, um, so you subscribe to the EA Play. Um, you Oh, you got the 99 cents. I haven't even Central. tried it for five minutes. I haven't even tried it. I, I tried linking up. I couldn't find any direction on how to use the 99 cent subscription, how I'm able to play EA games. I tried going on the app. I tried going on uh, my PlayStation 5 console and nothing. I can't, I, I don't know how to use the server. I, I, I tried Googling it. I tried leaving messages in chats. I went on Reddit and I couldn't get, I couldn't get any customer service phone numbers. I couldn't get an email address to send. So finally I just started diving deeper into the sub uh, subtopics of uh, emails and looking at the bottom for contact info or help. It, it, it was a lot of work. Well, all you've got to do yeah. on the... So you're on PlayStation 5, right? Yes, sir. So all you need to do is make sure that you're actually fully subscribed via the PlayStation 5. So you do that by going into the... Um, if, you know, on the home screen, and you've got a tab that says subscriptions... And it'll have like your PlayStation Plus or anything else you've subscribed to, and on there you'll say EA I, EA Play, and then. Do you mind if I turn on the PlayStation right now and try to do what you're telling me? Yeah, go ahead. You know what it is? I'm 55 years old. Last time I played video games was PlayStation Two, oh. 25 years ago when I was really into it. Now I still like to play games and stuff, so I purchased about a lot. I must have about 300 games within the last couple of months that I purchased seriously, ones that are on sale, PlayStation 4. I'm going to okay. turn on the PlayStation real quick. 
Yeah, no problem. Because I'm disabled in a way. I can't really, I don't work anymore. I've worked for a lot of years on the books, for, you know, and I just got sick where I can't work anymore. And I just wanted something to take up my time. Oh, okay. And well, I, no problem. Yeah. I'll, I'll help you out with that. That's no problem. Great. Um, I'm, I'm turning on the PlayStation now. So <clears throat> one thing I would recommend is, do you have the PlayStation Plus as well? Because you get like three games a month for free with that. I am subscribed to Premium Plus. Cool. So you get the, the, the highest tier. So Oh, so you can access all these, like the streaming games as well and all that stuff? Because that's, Everything. that's yes. quite a good deal. So the way it works yeah. with the EA is you have to subscribe separately and there's no like EA app for the PlayStation 5 yet. They just haven't made one yet. So right. what what you have to do is you have to find the games like normal in the PlayStation Store. Um, but once right. it once it has you subscribed, they should you should be able to download the games for free, like even the the expensive ones, as long as they're on the EA well, Play. Well, I'm going to try right now because I'm in the I'm blocked. All right, so I just logged in on my account. I'm going to put you on speaker on this phone. No problem. And now I can hear you good. And now I'm at the top of the uh, system where there's games, PlayStation Plus. Okay, so it, so if you go to the PlayStation Store, like uh, the the store, and then underneath there it'll say like latest collections deals, and then there should be a tab that says subscriptions. For some reason, I'm not getting the uh, network connection. Give me a sec. Why well, don't testing my uh, internet connection. This never happened before. Oh. I haven't played it in a couple of days. I hope I don't have any sort of a... Is it using Wi-Fi um, or is it plugged into the network? I'm, I'm using Wi-Fi. I'm using Wi-Fi. Okay. But it says, please wait. It's testing the signal because when I signed on, it said you're offline and it never happened before. Oh. Let's see what happens. Uh, checking. Spectrum 2F checking. Failed. Did I fail? Hmm. Connect to the internet. That doesn't make sense. Let me try to get... Yeah, it sounds like your Wi-Fi isn't connected. I'm offline. Ugh. Let me ask you a question, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. You mind if I call my Spectrum? Well, because my show, Monday Night Raw, starts in 15 okay. minutes. It's well, three hours. Would it, would tomorrow it, morning, no good. Tomorrow, would it, tomorrow, go ahead. Would it be okay if, I, if I give you a call tomorrow? Great. I would love it. Okay. I will I will give you a call personally and I will get it working for you, okay? And I'll make sure I'm online. Okay, no problem. Yeah, just What's make your name. My name is Ronathan. It's like Jonathan but, it, Ronathan but with an R. But uh yeah, I'll give you a call tomorrow and I'll get you set up, okay? Looking forward to it. Thank you so All much right. for calling me back, man. All no right. problem. Take you take easy. care. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Fuck. I'm going to have to fucking help this guy tomorrow now. I feel, I feel bad because he's disabled and he just wants to play video games. Let yeah, me... Kill the next person. I mean... I'm going to have to really fucking tear the next person up now, aren't I? Like, really? Like in Minecraft. In Minecraft, obviously. Uh, let me just find... Okay, hold on a second. I've got to fucking make a note of all this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me throw him in the. Uh, let me throw him in the numbers server so I don't lose him. People think I'm all bad, and I am actually legit going to call the guy tomorrow and talk him through how to get his games working. Because, because why not? Because he well, he's, God, he's not working. He needs some entertainment. Oh come on, the guy's disabled and he wants to play video yeah. games again. God bless him. Like why? Hopefully not? he's not on there. Like. Like trying, <laughs> he's like the gonna worst. help the guy get back online. He's going to Roblox. He's like the worst online predator ever, and I just helped him get online. <laughs> right, right. No, I'm sure he's not. Uh, I'm going to put him in the insane people room. Nice he sounds like a nice guy. He just wants to play some video games, you know. Just tell him it's over there. Put 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 a finger and point. So the Discord's right there with a finger pointing. Uh so there he is. There he is. Is it bored? Get him to join the Macron show. Yeah, maybe not that far. I'm, I mean, I might do. I'm going to tell him I'm a prank caller. That's a good point. That's actually a good point, man. I'm going to straight up tell him I don't even work for EA when I help him. I'm going to be like, by the way, dude, I was just pranking him. Oh my him, god, but... do not tell him about this show. 
We'll never get rid of him. We'll never get rid of him. Hey, you have but, to show him how to get him in Discord. How we- wait, it's, it's, <laughs> it sounds like he's got a little disposable income, though, because he was talking about how he subscribed to, like, the highest tier of PlayStation Plus. <laughs> he's got Plus, 300 so. games this month. I yeah, mean, geez, I think he can afford to sign up to the God Level tier if I help him out, you know? And here, if we look at what, I, what I tag him, who what he used to be a member of. Oh, go on. Strip channel? He used to be a stripper. He used to be a stripper. All yeah. right. Well, I like him even oh, more man. now. <laughs> I just like him even more now. You've said that, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh well, I, my good deed for tomorrow is I'm gonna I'm gonna help that man get his it video just games. Goes to prove you do help people, doesn't? It? Yeah, you know. Uh, right. Anyway, this is Erica, the kind of cute-looking blonde girl. Um, she needs help with something at Sam's Club. Uh, let me see. See if I can help. She better be a real bitch. She better not be nice as well, because otherwise what I'm going to do. I have a sinus infection right now for the people saying I need to blow my nose. Yeah, tell me about it. It's fucking horrible. That's why I'm sniffing a lot. It's nearly gone, but it fucking sucks. I got the same thing I got last year. That, me and DS got the same thing last year, and I got it again this year. I've not been on the cocaine, in case you're wondering. Dale told me to use the pure proper honey, and it worked. You've received the voicemail of Erica Bond. I can't get to the phone right now. Oh, she sounds a bit cunty. You've received the voicemail of Erica Bond. I can't get to the phone right now, so if you'll give me a call. I can't get to the phone right now. You learn English. You don't receive a... Whatever. I, it bothers me as well. You've received the voicemail of Erica Bond. You have received the voicemail of Erica. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, she's the type that would say, Hey, uh, can, you, can you borrow me some money? The voicemail. <laughs> I hate when people say that. Can you borrow me some money or borrow me anything? Here's received the voice mod, Erica. Erica. Just hitting the fuck you, but not a bastard. This is Erica. Hi, Erica. This is Ronathan calling from Sam's Club. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Reason for the call is I saw that you'd reached out to our social media team with a problem, and I just wondered if I can help at all. Um, yes, I was with my grandpa earlier, and he has one of your um, credit cards, and we called the number on the back of the card because they were supposed to send him a new card. Mm-hmm. He had asked for it to be expedited because you guys are his only credit card that he has. He's been a member of Sam's for forever, so he wanted to just do everything with you guys. Mm-hmm. And I understand that they said that it's a security issue that they can't give us the new number on the phone, you know, over the phone. I understand that. Yes. But they were not very helpful. The lady was like, well, don't use profanity, which I didn't. But I did tell her it was pissing me off because it's inconveniencing <gasps> my 83-year-old grandpa. Um, okay. I'd appreciate it if you could just gas. try and watch the language, though, ma'am. It is a professional call. Um, okay. Well, I, I mean, I work. I'm just telling you what happened. I'm just being very upfront. Last time I checked, piss is not a bad word. But I did not use, a, I did not use profanity to her. I said, I, I understand it. I also work in customer service. But at the same time, I've never known a credit card company when they said they're going to expedite it, that they don't overnight it. And she said it was coming from Nebraska, and we live in Oklahoma. So I'm not understanding how he doesn't have it yet. And how, like I said, he how, needs to get groceries. He needs to, you know, do all this stuff. And he called in about this on last Tuesday. Okay, so first of all, how long has he been waiting for the credit card? Since last week. Which day last week? Well, he said he got an email finally from whomever that it was shipped out on the 1st, but if it's expedited, he should have it by now. 
And but he called in about this last Tuesday and asked for it to be expedited. So he called on Tuesday, asked for it to ex be expedited. He got a shipping notification on the Friday. Is that right? Saying it was shipping Friday. Yes. Okay. And it's now Monday. Um, and did you say that's his, his only credit card? Yes. Okay. I mean, I do have to advise you. We, we are obliged under the Financial Regulations Act to actually inform you that that's terrible, terrible financial planning. Like, you should never have your 80-something-year-old father completely reliant on one single credit card, should you? That's just well, terrible, terrible okay, planning. I'm going to stop you right there. Terrible. Because that was my, gr that was my grandfather's decision. Mm. Not my father, it's my grandfather. I do understand that. But it's a terrible, it, it, it is his up. decision, but it's a terrible decision. That's what I'm saying. You know? Okay, well, are okay, but are you going to tell, like, are you for real right now? You're literally going to tell an 83 year old man. Oh, this is a terror. I, I understand yes. what you're saying. Yes, yeah, it's terrible, um, terrible financial planning because something like what's happening right now could happen. Do you understand? You're living through the consequences of this terrible decision right now. Okay, well, so once again, I mean, mm. we do all of our shopping through you guys, like literally for years. And the fact that you are being so rude about this, I'm not being I'm not being at all saying, rude. I'm trying to give you good advice that would have solved this problem. Okay, well, it's not right now. So no. I understand what you're saying. I've advised him that he will need to get a backup credit card. But at the same time, you're calling me at almost 7 p.m. I'm trying to wind down for the night because I have an early morning in the morning because I do work in insurance with financial stuff. So oh, my God. I, so you should have known a lot better okay. then. You really okay, should well, have known you know better than that. I was trying to help my grandpa. Oh, and man. now this is... Is there somebody? Anyway, is there somebody more competent in the family that could help assist him? Like, is there a man available? Are you maybe? freaking kidding me? You. This is so rude. This is so rude. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did not make that. Decision. I know. I, I did listen. Not with my listen. Grandpa. I was. No, listen. you don't know. You are being. Look, honey. Every Karen that doesn't get their own way starts flinging around the word rude. Okay, I, I hear it all day long. I'm not impressed. What is it you actually want us to do? Did she, have, did she have a tantrum and throw it? Oh, wow, okay, okay. She's fucking uptight. Oh, my God. Who the fuck has one credit card and then, like, that's it? That's their only means of paying for anything. Like, I'm not being funny. Ma'am? If you I've... are going to call me incompetent one more time, I will hang up on you again, and I will have him cancel all of his stuff with you. This is... This is absolutely absurd. I did not make that decision for my grandpa. I did not know he only had one credit card. He asked me to help him. I tried to help him, and you are assuming stuff you know nothing about. Mm, sounds so like I you do don't know a lot about that. your own grandpa either. Um, so, and, sir, sir, are you kidding me? No. Would you like me to assume stuff about your family? Like you? No, because I would. Understand how you sound. I would never make such an embarrassing mistake. So no, that wouldn't be appropriate at all. Okay. Well, I need now. I need to talk to your supervisor because I was waiting for that. what you are yeah. saying right yeah. now is absolutely absurd. If I talked that way to one of our customers and said, "You know, <clears throat> you you're incompetent," I would not have a job. But at least if you said it with my voice and not your whinely, high-pitched, nasal voice, then maybe it would come across a bit better, no? Now, look, ma'am, let, oh let me just clue you in, ma'am. Oh, no. Every single no Karen... I to talk to you anymore. Every I single to, Karen... I need to talk to someone who's not ev rude. Every single Karen that doesn't get their own way accuses us of being rude, okay, ma'am? We hear it 20 times okay. a day from you screeching, rampaging, swamp sows, and quite frankly, nobody's impressed. Now, you're going to have to put on your big girl panties, okay? I'm going to bring the supervisor oh, in here. No, so I need you to stop. So what I'm saying is yeah. you said that this is a professional call, and by you calling me this, that is not professional. I have no desire to talk to you. I have no desire to Okay, so if you're done this. screeching, if you're done it. screeching, do you want to talk to the supervisor? I do. I, I do not want to talk to you because what you have done... Ma'am, it was a yes so or no rude. question. I'm not interested in any way in your opinion, okay? Yes. 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 Okay, brilliant. Now shut up for a minute and I'll get the supervisor. 
<sighs> Damn these fucking currents today. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Thank you for holding through to Scobie, a supervisor at Tam's Club. Who am I speaking to? Um, yes, this is Erica Bond. What was your name? Scobie. How are you doing, Erica? Um, I wish I could say I was doing well, seeing as um, the person that just transferred me called me an effing Karen, and I don't think he thought I could hear him. Clearly, your name is not... Uh, Karen, from what I'm showing here, I, I do apologize about that. Um, do you recall yeah. who you were? Well, Let me look it up here. Let me find out who you were just speaking to. Looks like a, a Ron, Ronathan, you were just speaking to, ma'am? I I think so. So I'm, I'm going to attempt to be calm because he fired me up. I will not lie about that. You can go back and hear it. I hung up on him. I will be quite honest with you because this is dealing with my age. Hopefully you're nice and wet for me. Do what? No, you're saying Hello? 83 year old. No, I'm sorry. No, I I am trying to help my 83 year old grandpa. I am trying to remain calm about this, but the conversation I just had with that gentleman, he I I said the word piss, and he said this is a professional call. I understand that. I said last time I heard that wasn't a cuss word, and then he starts going off on me and telling well, me that you have I all over my face. Anyways, so what my point was, and I was trying to explain to him, I understood that when we called about this credit card, quite open. that my grand, hello? Yes, you, you, I'm just taking notes here, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. That when we called, they said we cannot give the new number over the phone because that's a security issue. Okay, I understand that. So I asked if there's any way if they could open the old card back up for a little bit so he could get groceries we'll and get gas because that's his only credit card. And when I said that, the guy I just talked to said, well, that is awful financial advice. Well, I didn't make this decision for my grandpa. He made this decision for himself. He, I, can't, I can suggest things to him. I work in insurance. I make suggestions to him, but I can't make him do something. So for someone to then basically, I hung up on him because I was tired of listening to him berate me. Let me pull out my dick here for a moment. Grandpa. Give me a second. I'm going to pull my dick out and grab my lotion so I can jack it. Give me a second. I want to make sure I take everything down here because it sounds like you spoke to several individuals from what I can tell. And quite frankly, it should not have come to this point. Um, can you hear me okay? Are you still there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you had mentioned that he was 80, forgive me, he was 83 years old? My grandpa, yes. Oh, my goodness. Have you, have you dealt with anything like this before? Has this happened before at this location? No. Like, I told the guy I talked to before, we used Sam's and Walmart and all of your stuff for everything. So, quite frankly, to be treated like like this tonight is a shocking and b where i kind of want to tell him to cancel everything i don't think he he won't because he but it's right. very frustrating for him he had other credit cards he did cancel them i understand you should always have a backup one i get that we've gone back over that tonight it's a little frustrating because according to the notes here, you're not into anal is that correct i'm what what the Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. And what day did this take place, ma'am? 
Today. Okay, today. I I'm listening. I'm listening, ma'am. Well, I don't. What did you say before? What day did this take place? Well, no, you had mentioned that he was 83 years old. I believe that's what you said. And I, I just want to make sure that I document everything. All the calls are recorded, so I, I have no... What I'm going to do once me and you hang up, I'm going to pull those recordings. I'm going to kind of go through mm -hmm. the conversation between you and that last representative, Ron. And I'm going to make sure that I, you know, document everything between what you're telling me and, and what actually happened on the phone call, ma'am. So, so, so go ahead. I'm right. sorry. So... I will say I did get fired up because then he starts accusing me of giving my grandpa bad advice. Well, I do work in insurance. I do work financially, but that's with life insurance. He didn't let me pipe okay, that there in. Was, because let me cut you off there for one moment. There was, I'm just reading the notes here. I'm sorry. I'm reading the notes here. Um, apparently, there was a... Ron had made a comment that you had mentioned something about pissing on someone. Is that correct? No. No, I said it pissed me off. I did not say pissing on someone. I said it pissed me off. So I don't know where this Maybe is Maybe that's coming where the from. confusion it was. Me mad. Okay. I understand if you had a bad day and I get the customer service and you're having to deal with right. awful customers. I do it every single day. I work in insurance. It sucks. I get it. But also, if, and I straight up told him, if I talked the way he talked to me to one of our customers. Even have you ever thought about letting out some of that frustration? I would not have a job. Yeah. Have you ever thought about letting out some of that frustration? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you kind of possibly. I, I don't know. I've listened to the call, but maybe you may have took it out on on Ron a little bit there. I'd be more than happy to help you out with some of that frustration, ma'am. I think that's why I'm on the call here. No, I feel like this is a crank call. This is not someone from Sam. This, this is no prank call. I'm simply offering my services. If there's someone that you would like to piss on, then I'd be more than happy to go no, ahead and, is, and fulfill those shoes. Is, <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> I'll call her back, do a quick survey. Here received. Oh, no. She did say she wanted to piss on a Scoby. We all heard it, right? You guys in chat heard that. Here received the voice message. Are the Rageaholics really trying to have a Zoom meeting? Belfast, are they letting you in? Oh, fuck it. Belfast, you mess with them. I'll, I'll go in there and have a quick look so everyone can see. Let's have a little look, see here. Wait, no. I don't want to download Zoom. No. There's some calls you can't, or some shows you can't download on. Some shows you can't download, no. Okay. Shouldn't be. There's just no download button for this one. Oh. Let me know which one and I'll, I can check. Yeah, it's the CTIP test one here. So Maybe Weird. I'm just missing something in there. Well, Zero, Zero will have a copy of it if you need it. Well. Uh, oh, hold on. We're in. Lucas first. Fuck him up, Belfast. This is a sick person. How can I be helpful to them? God save me from being angry. Thy will be done. Is that the end of his role anymore? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to give you some medicine over the phone. You're going to be asleep. I'm going to give you a little bit of purple fall through the phone. I'm going to need you to start counting backwards from 100 slowly. As you drift off to sleep. Start counting. Sorry about that, folks. Hello, this is Foot Surgeon. I live in Sebring, Florida. I am a foot and ankle specialist. I work with the foot and ankle. I do dick surgeries, sex change operations, and other surgeries. I own my own clinic. I do hypnotism, anesthesia, and general anesthesia to keep you asleep during your surgeries. Looking for African American males and white males with huge feet that can worship and dominate. <laughs> you have to start counting backwards as you go to sleep. Are you trying to hypnotize them, Belfast? You have to start counting backwards as you go to sleep. 
Guys, this is really triggering my rage. Can we please get a goddamn moderator in here now? Where's your shoes, I think I put you to sleep. Tell me about yourself and your shoe size. Okay, can I put you to sleep? Just hold on, folks. Get off, Dad. Can you get off? <coughs> Now they ended the whole meeting. <laughs> Safe for starting again. I'll keep an eye out if you want to move on. Yeah, you keep an eye on those bastards. They sounded like they were getting nicely annoyed as well. <laughs> Usually they've got good moderators in there. They must have just not been ready for us. You haven't been near them in months, that's why. Yeah. No, they just weren't ready. Let me know if it starts again. Uh, what the hell is nuts.com? Oh, wait, no, wait a minute. I'm not up to that one yet. Anyway, we need to do this Safeway one. I'm going to wrap things up fairly soon, you guys. It's your last chance to donate at macronshow.com slash tip. Now, Safeway is like a little crappy grocery store, right? Yeah. It's a gas station, I think. Isn't it? Oh, it's a gas it's station. It's, like a... it's pretty popular in the States. It's a supermarket around Pacific Northwest all the way to uh, Colorado. There we go. Thanks. Safeway. Eat. Oh, yeah. Safeway. There's a song. Now no, I didn't. Now I know what you're talking about. Like Albertsons. Pretty much. All right. I got this. It's so cool to take. I'm going to be auctioning off all my dirty tissues from me blowing my nose tonight. Hello. If anybody wants one, let me know. Hi, I'm calling from Safeway. Is that Kimberly? Yes, hi. Hi, Kimberly. How are you doing? I'm okay. <clears throat> all right. I heard... Yeah, I wasn't happy in your store at all this evening. No. I, I rarely, rarely am here lately, but I'm just right around the corner, and I still be trying to patronize. It, it is really convenient, but the Wakemans is right down the street. And for all the hassle I have to go through in your store, mm -mm, it's not worth it. And today was just not acceptable. I've never seen anything. I've been in the Walmarts, all types of stores of self-service, and I've never seen not even one register open to help a handicapped person or anything. Yeah, no, the whole system's going uh, contactless, self-service checkouts. You're going to have to get with the Times, old lady. No, nope, I could shop somewhere else. Well, this is 2023. Pretty soon you won't be able to shop anywhere if that's your attitude. We're getting rid of cash. And then this old lady might not even be here. But at this moment, while I am here, I know how I like to shop. Yeah. And there should be a register open for everyone. Well, so there is isn't. this is how you're addressing me, um, you're calling me about my complaint, and this is how you're coming at me? No, ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm just I'm just trying to be honest and open me. with you. I'm no, just trying you to... call me no old lady. You don't tell me to get with no time to very unprofessional, sir. You have a great evening, and I'll reach out to someone ma else ma and ma complain about ma you. Ma'am, ma ma you find some old market to go to and pay in ah. schmeckles or whatever you want to pay with. <laughs> yeah, she could use Twitter, but she can't use a fucking debit card. I was trying to think of what movie. You know, when she was talking, she's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like, she she me of, like, the bitch wasn't even mm -hmm. listening to me anyway. I just went straight in with, get with your times, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, no, it's gone silent on me again. It's not my fault. Yeah, Izzy. She just doesn't want to live in the present, that's all. Please leave your message for... For... We're getting rid of fucking checkout staff like we got rid of polio. You're going to have to deal with it, okay? It's just what's happening, ma'am. 
I get so sick of you know there are whole Facebook groups for people that really hate self service checkouts and they're amazing to troll. Like they get so fired up about it. What the hell is nuts.com? Like seriously? It must be a porno. What is it? Do this on that. Nuts.com. Uh, they actually do. Nuts, chocolates, dried fruit, trail mixes, sweets, pretzels, office snacks, and wholesale. Okay. Nuts.com. Who the fuck buys so many nuts that they need to go on nuts.com and now they're complaining when they don't get those nuts? I mean... Go to fucking team or the fucking grocery store. Just got plenty of nuts over there. I wonder how many nuts jokes I can make before they, uh... Because you're just a squirrel trying to get a nut to move your butt to the dance floor to see what's up. Correct. You've reached the voicemail box of Kara Moretto. Leave a message and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Sorry, I was just checking to see if DeezNuts.com is available. And it is. Oh no, this one's not. I would have bought that as well. Deesnuts.com. Do you know what is an amazing website I came across recently? Showsomesupport.com. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. I'm calling from Nuts. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm real good, thanks, ma'am. Uh, reason for the call, I saw that you'd reached out to our team with a complaint, and I just wanted to see if I can help you out with these nuts at all. Um, I mean, I tried using your chat, and I think I got it taken care of on your website. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. I'm, I see here that you've ordered 16 of our special holiday gift box, so that's that's great, and we just want to thank you for that. Uh, anything else I Wait, can... Wait, I'm sorry. What did I order? Oh, you placed an order today for 16 units of our special holiday nuts basket? No, I didn't. Oh, looks like you spoke to someone on the chat today and they placed the order for you, huh? Um, but, okay. When they arrive, I would just send those back if you don't want them. Um, is there anything else we can do to help? Or was everything resolved? Uh, I just want to make sure that I, the right order was placed. Uh, let me take a look here. It says here, and your name is Cara Moretto, right? That's you. Yes. Okay, yeah, it seems it sounds like you've got 16 of our holiday nuts gift basket, um two of our big british nuts and our uh seasonal selection box. That must be a different caramel. That's a different <laughs> that's different than the order I placed today. No, that's That's definitely you you give me the order number, let me take a look. Uh one six 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 two one nine one. Two two one nine one. Did you say? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so on my system, that's coming up as an order for. Just bear with me; it's a little slow today. Cara Moretto, order place today, and yep. Yeah. 16 of our seasonal selection box, two of these big British nuts, including the Yorkshire salty nuts, and uh, the uh, one of the winter selection box. Um, I mean, unless you guys are calling it something different than I'm calling it. What, um, what, what, what is it you tried to order? Let me check. I ordered 
a one five pound bag of English walnuts. Yeah. One five pound bag of raw almonds. Okay. And like a a gobble gobble goodies mix. Go a gobble these nuts bag. Is that what it was? Uh, it's a gobble gobble goodies mix. Yeah, that's the gobble these nuts bag. Yeah, um, that's the one we've got on there. But it looks like just one of them. It's showing you ordered sixteen. Are you showing? Are you saying it should only have been one unit? I I don't know what how much one unit is. It's, I ordered two five pound bags: one walnuts, one almond, okay. and one one pound bag of the goodies mix. Oh, okay, I see what happened there. Yeah, they've put sixteen as the quantity rather than one on the uh the british nuts um it's not a problem it's just you will get charged for them so when they arrive just go ahead and send them back and uh you'll get refunded usually within a couple of months no uh, no oh you can keep them if you wanted to keep them that's fine too no i'm not going to pay for nuts that i didn't order huh well, as I say, just just return them and they'll they'll refund them straight away for you. It's no problem. Yeah. Return them to who? Oh, there'll be a there'll be a return address when you get them as per, as per normal. You've ordered from us before, correct? No. Oh yeah, you'll you'll receive full instructions on how to return them. You just put a little label on them and uh, send them back. Can you repeat? Can you repeat that order number for me again? Uh, I have your order number listed as one six 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 two one nine one. Is that correct? One moment. So, did, ma'am, did you want these nuts? I don't understand. I think that's the wrong order number. And that's the one you just gave me. Um, are you sure you have one six 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 two one nine two? No, it doesn't end in two. It ends in one. Nice ruse, though. Yeah. Good attempt there, except you're a fucking idiot, and it didn't work at all. Yeah. Yeah, neither did you, but this was pretty fun. <laughs> what do you mean this was pretty fun? I'm not the one whose wife <laughs> I, I mean it was I'm not the one whose wife has to yeah. order nuts on the internet. You know what I'm saying, bud? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so terrible that she has to order nuts on the internet. Yeah, it's not all she gets off the internet either, you know what I mean? Yeah, she gets assholes like you calling her. No, oh, she gets a lot of things. Guys like you, you have with with so much time on your hands yet, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This where is what you, you do. Where are you going with this, buddy? Is there a... I'm just going that you're a fucking loser, that you have to, this is what you do with your time. Well, that's rude. That's awfully rude. Why would yeah, you, I know. Why would you say that to me? I know. I'm don't, sorry. Don't make me hand you your ass in a spectacular fashion, because in about an hour, I can have you crying and begging me to leave you alone, if you if that's where you want to go with this. Yeah. Okay. What, you think, yeah. you think I can't? I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know where care if you can. I just, it's, you know, I get it. This is, this is a little, little prank call. Oh, you're so um, smart, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So are you. So, hey. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hold well, on, hold on a minute. I'm just sorry. Keep, keep mouthing off. I'm just doing a little bit of due diligence here. Yeah. Okay, well, have a good night. No, uh, I think you should apologize for your rudeness. Well? What a rude, rude man. Ronnie, Ronnie, a man was rude to me. I'm just playing up the wife's Twitter so I can have a look. Hi, you've reached the voicemail box of Kara Moretto. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. You said I was sexy hot and then, then you said, ooh, damn, she's old. Ew. Ew. Man, she's got a terrible Twitter username. It's really hard to pull her up. C-I-A-A. 
Can't even get a Twitter to work. Belfast, give me a direct link to a Twitter. I don't know why I can't even I can't even get that Twitter name to yeah, come out. Give me a direct link to a Twitter. Uh, He's Ronnie's. doing a special go fuck yourself fucking Monday. Ronnie's Ronnie's on a flight right now to Vancouver. Oh shit, I don't know if I was supposed to mention that. But Ronnie's on a flight anyway. Going to pay someone a little visit in Minecraft. Obviously in Minecraft. Uh, let's just let's just do a bit of digging here. That man was awful rude to me for no reason as well. Do you hear him try and be all smart? He was like, put he put a two on the end trying to catch me out because he's such a fucking genius. Oh, I can't I can't call him from his own number. Damn it! Oh. So he did say dick, dick, dick. What? When he was reading out the numbers, I could swear he was like one, and then I heard like dick, 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 or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and then he called him clever. Yeah, come down. You need a dick or. <laughs> she calls herself an actor. You've reached the voicemail box of Kara. Put him in the asshole's room. He's another. You should act like an adult. I'm gonna fuck him up tomorrow. Jesus, what happened to her face? Did the Joker get her? You've reached the voicemail box with Karen Moretta. She has her own website. What does she do on this website? <laughs> Alright, so she has she's has actually a YouTuber. Let's see how many I'm interested. <gasps> Guys, she has she has seven subscribers on YouTube. Um, her last video got over 400 views, but it was seven years ago. So yeah, legit actor. Legit actor right there. What a bitch. I'm just being informed that the uh, Rageaholics are trying to have a meeting again. Oh, they still won't let me in their other meeting, though. Fuck that off. Fuck that off. I'm going to do one more complaint, and then I'm getting the hell out of here. I need Everything you see is five bucks. I need to save my energy for tomorrow. Tomorrow's when it's really going to go down. DS said that some... Next complaint. <clears throat> DS, did somebody really write in block capitals in the chat, I can't find the Discord, where is it? That's awesome. I mean, my God. You can't imagine it really, can you? It's only scrolling by in the text at the top of the screen oh, yeah. con continuously throughout the show, other than the fact that we've read out the address several times. And it's on the front page of the website. So yeah, I can see how you'd struggle to find it. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, though. I mean... I mean, I can't even. Give us your phone number. We'll talk you through it. Uh, this next person, there's no company to call from. Any clue what the company is on that next one, Belfast? It just says, beware, they were hired to move our goods and they damaged thousands of dollars of items. Two men in a truck, um... That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, well. What's the other one? Labor ready. Cardinal Flanagan's just getting over a sinus infection. I must have got it from you. It fucking sucks. This happened to me last year as well, right? Last year I got COVID, and then I got over the COVID, and then I got a cold, and then I got over the cold, and I got a sinus infection, like back to back. And I swear the same thing happened this year. Like, only it was more spaced out this year. Same thing happened to DS as well. But like when I when I got back from the meetup in Florida, I had like a cold for a few days, and then that went away. And now I've developed a sinus infection, exactly like last year. It fucking sucks, and it's probably all COVID related. But yeah, that's why I sound horrible right now. And it's really annoying. It's really annoying trying to sleep and you can't breathe through your nose. Makes me want to really want to tear someone up. 
whenever I hear that, you know, those uh, Vix uh, things you can put in your nose and smell? Yeah, I've got that. I'd like to lay in bed and just leave them in my fucking nose and go to sleep. I used to hate uh, that shit. Dude, I'm pretty I'm much... Not being able to breathe, man. I hate it. I'm pretty much at that point. I've got, like, <laughs> nasal sprays and I'm just, like, hoofing them. I got yeah, this. The head stuff too. That whole thing I got I got Tylenol for sinuses. Look, I found this at the store. Tylenol for sinuses. In fact, in fact, while I'm while I'm on the show, I'm going to eat a couple of these. And you know what? You know what? I've only just figured out because they don't do this in the UK. But I f I finally figured out that you can't pop the tablets out of the thing until you peel the paper off the back. I mean, it does it does clearly say that in the instructions, but. I've been fucking struggling with these things. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do it like that in the UK. Right? They're a lot harder to open over here. Probably because you didn't have someone injecting all the uh, capsules with fucking cyanide in different places, like over and over and over again. Ronnie says, chew that paper. No, I'm assuming it's made of plastic or metal and it's not. So look, and then you see, there you go. You pull it out and there's your, mm, there's your fucking Tylenol sinus. But no, I'm not. I'm not going to chew it, Ronnie. But in the UK, you just pop them out. You know, they just come straight out. It's a lot easier. So yeah, that's the story of my sinuses. And as I said earlier, I'm auctioning off all my dirty tissues with my sinus juice on them. If anybody wants to win one, macronshow.com forward slash tip and write Ron's not rags in the messages, and I'll send one out to you. Okay, collector's item. Just think, in the future, you could clone me using one of these. Think about that. Think about that, you guys. Let me know when you got a couple that smell like bleach. I'll take those. Smell like what? Bleach. Bleach? No, you don't want that. But yeah, fucking sinus infection. It better not happen again. I am fucking hate it. Probably should go get more booster shots or something. I don't know. All right, let's try and piss one more person off. Let's see who we got here. Besides me. Did we ever identify what moving company that is that Buckfast found me? Yes, it's uh, Jeff O'Neill. Oh, really? Yeah. Shall I just call him anyway, even though we don't know the company? Yeah, go for it. I'll just remain a mere Jeff. Let's see. Let's see if I can start some shit without knowing the company. I'm betting on two men in the truck. Oh, the, num the number doesn't work anyway. Fuck it. That's a fool. Fuck it off. Yeah, you've got you've got a good rate going right now, so I'm not going to say anything. Uh, let's see, hot numbers. Let's see who I've missed out of here. Intel, IntelliTravel. Never heard of him. Oh well, no, it's a thing. It's right here. Got a number for them. Intellitravel. It sounds like a travel agency for stupid people to me, to be quite honest. Sounds like something from Snow Crash. Yeah. Intellitravel. Alright, what is your problem here? Da, da, da. Oh, this girl is called Taisha. Perfect. Scobie was making fun of that name earlier, and now, now look. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from IntelliTravel. Can I speak to Taisha, please? This is she. Hi, Taisha. Reason for the call is I understand you reached out to us on social media with a complaint. I reached out actually on the phone quite a few times on Friday prior to that. But after being... Oh, so you didn't reach out to us on social media. This isn't your tweet that I've got here. I'm so sorry. I must have made no, 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 a mistake. Sorry I, about I, that. that oh, so... Prior wait a minute. Tweet, so, I sorry, you did. You did. You did reach out on social media. Got you. Okay. So, tell me what's happened. Okay. So, initially, when I signed up... Um, I signed up in June I believe, or July. I signed up in July. And... I was sent the welcome email, but my password line was blank. So I kept sending emails asking for a password, and they kept sending me welcome emails, and the password line was consistently blank. So 
and then they will close the case. So I have to start a whole new case, like, okay, I still can't get in. This went on until the end of September, middle of September. And I now have access. But what I've been asking for is a refund for those months where I continuously was asking and not receiving any assistance. So I reached out with customer service, like I said, through email multiple times. And the last time when I finally received the password and I replied back, you know, saying thank you and mentioning the months that I was not able to access, the girl sent me back a reply with the the customer service agent, I think it was a female's name, sent me back a reply telling me how to cancel and telling me that it was too late to get my money back because I didn't do it within a certain amount of time. And so I responded back. I'm not I'm not asking about canceling. I never mentioned canceling. I just want my money back for the months that I couldn't use the service. And again, I would go back and forth, they would close the case. So I finally reached out this weekend. I finally had some time last week and I reached out over the phone. The first person that I spoke to ended up hanging up on me. Um, I got back on, I called somebody else. And the thing is that as I'm speaking to them, I'm telling them, you know, I appreciate that you want to help me, but you can't. And they would not hear that. And so I would eventually go through and tell them what the issue was. And when I tell you that the last person that I spoke to had me on the phone for 45 minutes, I asked her at the very beginning of the conversation, I told her, you know, I've already spoken to somebody else. I've been emailing for months. I have an issue. I need to speak to someone, you know, of uh, someone in management. Yeah. So here's the thing. How much did you pay for those couple of months that you weren't able to access it? What's the total that we're talking about? I don't even know what the total is because I didn't get that far. But I don't don't know. It was over, I I think, between Intellitravel and then the Planet. I think the planet was like 19 a month, and then a tele-travel was like in the 20s a month. But I I didn't even get that far as to trying to to calculate anything. I was just trying to get someone to speak to me about it. And they kept going in circles. And then when I would tell them what the issue was, you know, I was being told that, again, over and over again, about my membership and how this is how I have to cancel. And I'm like, that's not what I'm asking you for. And so she reset my password, and she's like, you've had access all this time. The lady actually told me that I was on my website and on a call with someone from customer service. This never happened. (laughs) She told me I was actively using my site in July, and that's the reason why I was not entitled to any sort of, of compensation. But you can look at the emails and see that they're blank. It, it's nothing there. So it, it's literally a fully filled out email with the exception of the password line, which is blank. Hmm. So just to confirm, you signed up to IntelliTravel to become one of our agents, right? You wanted to make money having your own travel business. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. And you were paying so it starts so our plans i'm not sure where you've got this 20 dollars from our plans start from 39.95 per month so i'm not sure if you're confused with like another you, mlm honestly, scheme I, that you're I, in I, or so yeah, I, I would have to look i apologize because I, I you are probably perfectly right how I, many I, I um how many other multi-level marketing schemes are you involved with like do you do the paparazzi jewelry or the um Nothing like that. The Literally, juice. This is the only. Do, you, do you ever tried Juice Plus? Any of those ones? Never heard of it. Okay. So, what do you do for work at the moment? I don't work right now. Got you. Got Actually. you. Okay. And that's why that's why the money was so important to me because yeah. I don't work. So anything that I invest into trying to make. Money. So you don't work. You know, so you thought it would be a good idea to spend your unemployment benefit on a forty dollar a month multi level marketing scheme on the internet. I don't get unemployment benefits, sir. Oh, so you're just wasting your own forty dollars a month. That's crazy. How much? How much money have you made with IntelliTravel since you got the password sorted out? Absolutely nothing. Zero. Yeah. No, that's a big surprise. 
Uh, look, ma'am, I'll be honest with you. This probably isn't for you. What What you should do is contact your bank and just tell them it was fraud and get all the money back. That's what I would do. Don't. But it's not fraud. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it kind of is. I mean, look, ma'am, you're unemployed. You're, you're not going to earn enough money to pay the bills through some kind of forty dollar a month multi level marketing travel agency scam, are you? Let's be honest. Well, I didn't know it was a scam. Thank you for letting me know, but. Well, paid, good. I, no, and I'm glad for you, but you know, I'm just saying, like, like, I mean, forty dollars a month, ma'am. You're just wasting on this, and like, did you? How much do you know about the travel industry that you thought you could run your own travel agency successfully? Quite a bit. I travel quite a bit, and I actually <laughs> have been on a few of the calls. The webinars and I spoke. Oh, the webinars! Oh, you've joining. done the webinars, so that makes you highly qualified and experienced within the travel industry, doesn't it? Which is I that hit... what I said, sir? Yes, it is what you said. No, it's not. And I, I mean, that I... hopefully, that it's not a competitive end. industry at all. I'm sure no one else is trying to do the same thing. So you should be good. You should be good. Yeah. Any day now, those millions are going to come rolling. Why you to be sarcastic, sir? Considering that I have said absolutely nothing that was detrimental about the company with the exception of me having issues with a password. And yeah. now you're belittling me and speaking to me in a very inappropriate manner, considering it's supposed to be some sort of professional business. Well, no, ma'am, I was ragging on the company, actually. You're just being oversensitive because you feel stupid for your bad decisions in no, life. No, you called me stupid. No, that's why I, I, that, I didn't that's call you stupid. You called me stupid. I didn't call you stupid. I mean, you pretty much did that yourself when you told the story, to be honest. Wow, okay. I assume that horrendous feedback was you clumsily attempting to set up some kind of recording device. What repeat what feedback? The the horrible nasty feedback that I just heard on the phone. I assume that's you your clumsy effort at setting up a recording device, is it? Would you like me to wait no, for you not. while you keep doing There's that? Literally I didn't move, sir. You're hearing outside noise. Got you. Stop making assumptions because now you're starting to sound like an idiot. Well, you should get a job, you fucking deadbeat. How about that? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Not very nice, is it, when we get personal? I was ragging on the company. You're the one that started picking on me. Now, if you want me to when start... Did I pick on you? If you? What did I say about you? You just literally, the line that you just said was very offensive. Now, if you want me to get offensive with you, I can do. I mean, we can all have a good laugh at you. Please do. We can, absolutely. So seriously, how many other schemes like this have you tried to get involved with? How many webinars have you done? Why is that your business? Uh, well, because you're on the phone begging for help and money from me, so... I'm not begging for anything. Kind of are, though. Okay. Let's so what see. you're saying is that your company is a scam and you have no intention on assisting me. Is that correct? Well, we can't Just assist you because you were too stupid to follow the instructions in the first place. I mean, you would have, if you'd read the email completely instead of skimming over it and then getting on the internet complaining about it, which is what everyone kind of does these days, you know. So it says, according to your social media profile here, which has 380 followers, which you've occurred in the last nine years, uh, it says you're a writer as well. Tell me what uh, works you've published. Obviously, that's not my no, main account. Exactly. There we go. Okay, so it's not your main account, right? No, it's not, sir. I actually <laughs> run multi, multiple social media accounts. <laughs> to you, yeah. Not I mean, any of your business. Anything but work for a living, hey? Yeah, considering that my home is owned outright with no mortgage from hey, the bank. That's I awesome. Have to work. That's awesome. That's awesome, and I'm happy Wonderful. for you. I'm Internet. genuinely happy for you. I am. I, I'm, Thank you. That's a great thing. That's a beautiful thing. Mm hmm. But, you know, lashing out at me because you fell for an MLM scam and you're not... At what point did I lash out at you, You're sir? obviously not very Actually, employable. I asked you why you were being so rude to me considering how... But I was ragging I on the company. I was ragging on the company. I never said a thing about you. I was making fun of the company. And then you, you start... I was stupid enough you... to fall for a scam and then you asked me how many of those scams I was doing instead I asked... of trying to get a real job. I, I genuinely want to know because I, I believe that you've definitely signed up for like paparazzi jewelry or juice plus or something like that. This isn't your first runaround, I can tell. Come on, what other schemes have you been involved with? Be honest about it. Come on. 
Oh man, don't 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 run away now. It's alright, I'm going through your socials to have a look. Let's see here. It's mostly reposts of what rappers have said. You're very interested in what Slim Thug has to say. It's a good job this isn't your main account, because it may make it look like you're not very business oriented. Ma'am? Did she did she hang up? Unbelievable. Do you want to make more money, Chumley? Give me forty dollars a month. I'll tell you how. You, well, you don't know my commercial price. You want to go up and off these companies? You want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Hello. Well, you know, that was Lincoln Technical Institute, not Devray. Oh, she doesn't even want to talk. Someone asked me if I'd tried Jeff's new number. Actually, I haven't. Uh, let's just have a little little look here. Uh, he did get another new number. Let's see if it rings. Yep. 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 Uh, yep. Learn how to speak before you call me, you fucking retard. Pretty you sure I already English. did. Shut up. Really? <laughs> there he is, guys. <laughs> I don't even think he knows who he's talking to at this point. You have reached mailbox number awesome. two. Oh, did he say that? Now he's coming up next. Poor old Jeff. Poor Jeffrey, ah, oh, Jeffrey. You heard me, didn't you? Now fuck off. No, that's rude. <laughs> you heard me, didn't you? Fuck off. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ah! I'll try Belfast. I'll try just for you before I get out of here. Usually forgets to change it when he gets a new one. Oh, you can't call from his own number. Oh well. Nice try, the number's off, you retard. Oh dear, is it really? Because <laughs> that's totally. Patty keeps answering. You have reached mailbox number two. Please enter your password. Please enter your password. Welcome to your voicemail service. There's no I way. You set up your personal mailbox in a few easy steps. There's then no you way. Go directly into each step and play the instructions. Me. To create your personal password, choose a oh four to seven digit number that is easy for you to remember but difficult for others to guess. Now enter your new four to seven digit password followed by the. Your new password is 69420. If this is correct, press the pound key. To modify your password, press 1. Next, you'll record your name to identify your mailbox. Your mailbox name is different from your greeting and should only include your first and last name. At the tone, speak your first and last name, then press the pound key. Jeff. Jeff. If you are satisfied with your recording, press the pound key. If you would like to erase and re-record your name, press 2. Finally, you'll record a greeting for your callers. Be sure to include your name and ask callers to leave a detailed message. Begin recording your greeting at the tone. When you are finished, press the pound key. Hello, you've reached 778-883-5758. You can't take your call, but leave your info and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, it's Jeff. Fuck off. Fuck off, nigger. Fuck off. Fuck off, nigger. Fuck off. Fuck off, nigger. Fuck off, nigger. Fuck off, nigger. Fuck off.
Hey, Richard. I'm gonna cave your fucking skull in sometime soon. You better fucking get the notion out of your mind that it's okay to call this fucking number. Cause if you call me again, I'll find you and stab you in the fucking face, you fucking cocksucker. You can call me all the time. I'll tell you what, call me again, text me again, even think about calling me again. I'm gonna find you and stab you in the fucking neck. And then I'm gonna fucking stab you again in the back too, you piece of shit. Then I'll make sure you go to the hospital and go to emergency and bleed like a fuck. You fucking cocksucker piece of shit. Your greeting is... Hello, you've reached 778 If you are satisfied with your greeting, press the pound key to save it. If you would like to erase... Congratulations, your voicemail setup is now complete. Now when someone calls your phone and you do not answer, they will automatically be forwarded to your voicemail. It's fucking perfect. How is he that stupid? He never learns like you. Oh, fuck me, many phone numbers has he had? A lot. He'll probably have another one by tomorrow. <laughs> hey, we set your voicemail up, buddy. Jeffrey. 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 Too late, Ronnie. I already texted him about it. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> He'll just have another number by tomorrow. He's going through like three a week right there. Hello, you've reached seven seven eight 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 three. Amazing. Hello, you've reached. <laughs> hotline, go ahead. <laughs> now he's picking up and hanging up because he realizes what's just happened. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. All right, time for me to get the fuck out of here. Don't forget, everybody, tomorrow we're doing a special show for everybody. It's free. It's going to be live in Discord. It's going to be a one-off special show. It's a viewer appreciation show. It'll be in the Romfant's room around about the usual time, maybe a bit later. We'll see. We'll see. Still on Canadian time, you know. Uh, make sure you go to macronshow.com forward slash Discord and you all come hang out in Discord and listen to it. It's going to be great. And yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for all the donations. Thanks to Belfast for all this week's numbers. Good work with the numbers, Belfast. You're killing hey, it this Bill. week. Killing it this week. What did everyone learn today? Change your voicemail password, number one. That's about it. Oh, I, I learned that Ray's got a small penis. <gasps> Belfast, we why would you say that? I knew it, Ray. Oh, Everybody knew it. Oh, the truth is out Here's now. Tomato boy. Ray, are you, Ray, are you in love with DS? Yes. Oh, I, I am, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. I knew it all. Touched me inappropriately. <laughs> I knew it. Ronnie, what are you going to be doing as soon as you get back home? Let us know. Uh, what are you going to be thinking about on that flight when you're on the way there? I've actually, I've lost the sound you're effect now. Your ass. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> Your I'm ass, gay. Your ass. Your ass. I your ass. I learned that ass. when my bus driver dies. Yeah, don't complain if your bus driver dies. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi, what's going on? Like, I didn't realize. What's going on? All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thanks, everybody. See you next Monday. Make sure you're in Discord this week. Crazy shit's going to be going down in there. Love you all. Take care out there. Be safe. Have a great week. Bye. Say bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Look it, look it, look it. Huh? Huh? Huh?
Mm-hmm. Well, I'm doing today. Back. Is it tonight? We must be owned by another race besides white. It's a big huh? run. Oh, well, 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 M-E-1. Hey, where are the white women at? Look at, look at. Now, look at you, stupid woman. I'm not saying I'm not stupid. Dumbass. You want to spell that? I'm not saying I'm not stupid. My name is Robert. My name is Mike. Stop. Oh, we're being hot. All right, you're done. Hi, what's going on? Like, I didn't I'm gay. Hi, what's going on? Like, Ew. I didn't realize. Ew. That's bow hockey. Okay, I think that's all the lyrics we need. Fuck off, Kevin. Don't you ever get tired, go to sleep. Good night. <laughs>